Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the castle live in Indianapolis, Indiana for The Siege. My name is Jeff, brought to you by To The Point Streaming. Tonight is a great doubles match featuring Dan, Jeff, Libertowski, and Jeff Brummett versus Eugene, Jeff Schmidt, and Jeff Dixon. I'm Jeff Green, your play-by-play -play commentator, and I'm joined by the Philly legend, Jeff Neal, What's up? on the controls. And I'm pleased to welcome our guest host, the amazing, ta amazingly talented and wonderful Cheyenne Jeff Bland. Cheyenne, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. I love being here every time. It's such a great atmosphere. Well, it's a pleasure to have you back. It's been a long time. And we've been hounding Jason repetitively to Good. get you back on the show. Yeah, I missed it the first time. I yeah. was out of Tampa. Wood. And there you go. Missed so the show. Now, now we have it. So it's we're happy to have you here. Thank you. Cheyenne, we're going to get right into right down to the to the dirty stuff here. You did our castle count-up segment where we put our guest host to the test with nine darts to get the highest score you can. What was your goal heading into that? Because you obviously didn't know about it until you arrived here. <laughs> yeah. Um, you used our siege darts uh, after practicing with a few sets. So... Um, thanks for watching our show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> how do you how do you think you did with that? Um, I think I did okay. Um, what was I your what was your uh, sorry your my goal goal Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, um, my goal was obviously to do a lot better than what I did. <laughs> to do a lot better uh, than what, what I'm talking about. What was your minimum right goal? Um, I was trying to at least get over 180. Try to do over 180. Like yeah. Okay. And you then your secondary goal was to do what? Uh, beat Kyrie Washington. So beat Kyrie cool. Washington. 136 was his score. Uh, yeah. Not too good. It was definitely a lower half, but <laughs> coming from me, that's a lot. Um, how do you feel you did? <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed to say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I did okay. Um, I fell a little short, but that's okay because I still beat half the people on that board, so it's okay. Maybe, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's take a look to see how Cheyenne did, spoiler alert, <laughs> for her castle count up earlier yeah. with Tim. The Nine Dart Challenge brought to you by The Siege. Here with guest host Cheyenne Bland. Cheyenne, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Greatly yeah. appreciate it. Now, you're going to be doing a nine dart challenge. You're going to throw nine darts, total score, and we'll get you, get you on that ladder behind us over at the right. stage or whatever, the broadcast booth. Uh, before we start, real quick, I'd like to get to know everybody. Uh, How would you get involved in darts? Uh, me and my friends. My friends and family. And where do you throw out of? Uh, Lafayette. Lafayette. So Lafayette's a big, it's an up-and-coming dark town. There's a lot of people up there that are really oh, getting yeah, involved. Yeah, a lot of people. Uh, Kyrie's traveling all over the place, and then you got yeah. all the big dogs that are staying up there and coming up. And the elbow room. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of good dark teams. All right, well, I won't ask you too many more questions. So uh, throw your three warm-up darts, and then we'll get started. I'm going to move over to the board and keep score for you. So right. let's throw your warm-up darts, and we'll get going. Three. That's a great start. <laughs> That's a good warm up. That's a, yeah, you get the five out of the way. All right. All right, so let's go right. your first three. Deep breath, follow through. Wow. 37. Not, not bad start. Terrible. I started with 28. So I that's no big deal. You did. So who would who would you say has been your influence in darts? Um, a lot of people have. Mainly everybody here from just because. Seventy nine. That's a great pick up there. All right, let's throw your last three. Get your total score. Currently at 116. Oh. <laughs> okay. 33. What was that? Uh, 140, 149? Hey. Beat you, Kyrie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so it. much. Thank you. And we'll see you later. Thanks for doing this. All right. We'll see you later. Cheyenne, 149. That's uh, if you took my score and combined it by two, I would be beating you. So, um, mm -hmm. but still really good. 149. Definitely defeated Kyrie. Yeah, so uh, that's all that we're gonna put that up on the board. At least I'm not last. And look at this. I'm gonna try not, you know, break anything. 149 is about right here, uh, where Mr. Guest is, just above him, right below Mark Mackey. 
which is uh, quite the character from the North Side of Indy. Uh, so you're with you're in good company there, Mr. John Guess and yeah. uh, Mr. Mark Mackey. Uh, and Mike Gillum is there, too. So, Mike, you weren't even on the show this week, but guess what? We said your name again anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> congratulations. We were like three months in a row, right? It's, it's been uh, like every week. And um, we love it. Huge shout out real quick to Paul Rogers, of course, for the thousand stars. Mm-hmm. Brother, uh, Rockford, Illinois, uh, is lucky to have you in their great city. We I'll need to get him much. down here again. And then, of course, Pops in the chat from uh, New Jersey checking in. Uh, appreciate that. All of you in the chat, we appreciate it so much. Thanks for being here. Uh, all right, Cheyenne. This week, uh, this Friday, uh, Jason, Tim, and I all went and played a blind draw at Mikey's Pub. <laughs> um, we finished first, second, and third, just saying. Uh, mine was because of my partner. Tim's was because of his partner, that's for sure. Well, did you finish third? Uh, I got second. Oh. I finished Thank third. Thank you. Appreciate I, that. I, I, yeah. I, had well, well, I had too much well, fun the most. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't finish third. Some other version of Tim that was not the Philly legend finished third. <laughs> Uh, All right. He fought. <laughs> he fought gravity a little bit too much in that third place match. Makes sense. His partner <laughs> shot well, but <laughs> there was nothing that Great she job. could do. Yeah, <laughs> and then Jason had a good partner, so that's why he won. Shout yeah. out Corey. Good job. Um, that being said, while we were there, we're talking to a whole bunch of people, and that's what we do. We're trying to potentially get some up and coming siege players that have never played on the show before. So my question to you is: There's a lot of players that are hesitant to play on the siege. Uh, tell me about your experience on the show the first time through. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, absolutely. It was definitely a um, just a change that I needed in order to want to be able to focus and fulfill my dreams of throwing good darts and to be able to be better and to do better with any dart strategy that I wanted to do. So you um, think like this kind of sparked that for you a little bit? Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Sweet, that's awesome to hear. That's that's that makes me feel all good inside. All warm and fuzzy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, were you hesitant right. to play on the show when you first were asked, or were you excited? I was just because of my nerves. Okay. But once then you it get was here, like it kind of melts yeah. away real quick, right? Yeah. Hopefully. All right. So, what led? <laughs> I love this question so much because I'm so excited for your answer. <laughs> <laughs> what led your decision to play on the show? Uh, how did you get asked to play on the show? Obviously, Jason had to have known you somehow. So, what happened? Um, well, see, uh, Ryan Watson, him okay. and uh, a couple other people, they had came up to me and they were like, hey, there is a guy that's going to be showing up and he's going to be watching you play some darts. And I was like, okay. Uh, had no idea about that sounds creepy. anything. Um, Not very creepy. as creepy. I yeah, you said yeah. it a lot creepier earlier. It's but definitely creepy. Um, so some guy is going to show up and just watch you play darts. Yeah, they said that uh, because I had watched Ryan Watson play. Okay. So I had already known, but I wasn't like specific with anybody, so yeah. I didn't know who anybody was. Yeah. Um. He's like, "Hey, the man that invited me onto the siege, he's here to watch you." You said, "What's the siege?" Yeah. To and be fair, that's fine. Yeah, had no idea. <laughs> um, but then I watched, and then I kept watching, and then I got addicted into it. But yeah, yeah now here I am. <laughs> and for your second time on, and yeah. So, the experience overall. A little bit hesitant to come on the show originally, of course, to have Jason watch you creepily. Uh, <laughs> would have been anyone would have. Been, I yeah. wouldn't have played that night. I'd be like, "Oh, really? Is he? Oh, I'm leaving yeah, now." Okay, him. great. Garrett yeah. James Hollingsworth sent two thousand stars. Oh my for gosh! Cheyenne beating Kyrie. There you go. Oh, thanks, Garrett. See, I love Told it. Ya. Hey, <laughs> told you. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> represent that Lafayette community. Um, so why, wh- what would you tell, what advice would you give a, a player that is a little bit hesitant to play on the show for the first time? And not to be nervous. I mean, I know it is absolutely nerve-wracking, but not to be nervous because it is nothing but just a good atmosphere here. Yeah. Um, they're going to do good regardless because, like me, I was nervous, but then as soon as I started throwing, it was like I've been throwing here forever type of thing. Yeah. We'll give you that $5 afterwards. All right, so. <laughs> um, nice. <laughs> no, it, she's I'm really happy. Everything. I'm really, yeah, I know. She's. <laughs> this is why we have a rehearsal, guys. It's so that the right answers come out. Um, no, it, honestly, it it means a lot to us to hear someone say that who did not know us ahead of time at all. It, it's kind of yeah, cool definitely. Uh, for us. And uh, through this whole process, we've we've all become friends, which is always fun. Um, and why we do this, right? So you come from the Lafayette Dark Community. Yes. And Tim ruined my question because he already asked you about the Lafayette Dark Community <laughs> uh, on the garage even though why would he ever ask that question but he did and so here we are um so give me three names of players that you would like to see on the siege because they are going to be those players that uh show up and show out 
potentially. And I know that there's a lot of players in the Lafayette Dark community, and I know giving you three names is, is unfair. Right. I don't want to <laughs> make that perfectly clear. I have so many. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lots of the card we've already been here. Yeah. And well, don't pick them anyway. Not yeah. so much. Uh, yeah, we don't <laughs> like them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I do like, you know, Jeff Cohey. But okay. You know, always love Jeff Cohey. Um, always. Jeff Tom Hart, Thomas Jeff Bowman. Yeah. Has he played on the show? He Has played he? in the, uh, the class of the I know he did that, but. And I think he was on one other time. Okay. So well, he's already played on the show. Yeah. So yeah. that one's don't ruin it already. Tim. Right. We didn't um, even s- you said that didn't even say that name earlier. We yeah. came up with three well, names I know. earlier. Well, I know, but I are. have the names. You Jason, this is why it's taking so long tonight. It's, it's not, not me. me. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Thomas Bo- uh, Thomas Bowman. I must have Buddha, okay, but Buddha. Buddha. Um, Wade Myers. Um, I do want to see Tanya Young try to get in on it. I there don't you know go. if she will. Um, you know Chad Young. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's his wife. Okay, that'd be fun. I love them to death. Yeah, that'd be a good time. All right, so there you go. Right, let's go, Tanya. Where you at? Jason, we got yeah, three names. I guarantee you, because he's he's scrambling for <laughs> people. Like in the next month and a half, he'll have he'll have those people on the show. Um, yeah, so yeah. if they say yes, so there you go. I, that's Hopefully, I did my we'll work for Jason for the next month and a half. All right. All right. This weekend is the Cross Border Darts Challenge in Michigan City, Indiana. It's uh, with the uh, press or the Championship Darts Corporation, uh, who I work for and do commentary for. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're gonna look at the bracket here real quick. Just because it's this weekend, it's up and coming. Uh, you can see it there. Eight of the best Americans taking on eight of the best Canadians uh, in, a, in a great battle. I will tell you a little bit of past history here before I make you make your picks. Okay. All right. Past history <laughs> is that the Canadians dominated yeah. this event last, last year. year. Um, I believe it was one or two Americans were the only ones to make it through uh, the first round. And they do a Nations Cup, and that was over with very early on day two. Mm. Uh, so early that when I had John Part as my partner in the booth, I had it set up to where this match, no matter what, is going to give the one point needed for Canada. How does it feel to be on the winning uh, side? Except that it had already happened that match before. So <laughs> he pointed out to me right before we started because he was reading my script. He was like, uh, didn't this already just occur? Oh, yeah. Thanks, John. And that's why it's great to have someone like John Part. Way to ruin it, dude. Um, <laughs> so they dominated that. Okay. Um, that being said, I, I feel like the list of, of Americans this year is a little bit, uh, what? I like it. Yeah. New Jersey. <laughs> um, is a little bit, uh, more favored probably, uh, yeah. overall more seasoned, more seasoned. I would say that, um, a lot of players played in this event last year, but there's a lot of newcomers. Most of them are on the Canadian side. Um, so let's talk through it. All right. That left side, Alex Bowman, Sylvain Bordeaux. <laughs> Uh, this is the first round matchup. Keith Way, Jules Van Dongen, Jake Taylor plays Larry Butler. That one's going to be an, a, a, I feel bad because that's a galaxy kind of battle. That's a battle, um, a galaxy battle. And friends. Uh, at least one of them is going to be moving on. That's, that's for sure. And then Leonard Gates, Jake McMillan. Out of those eight <coughs> players, give me one player that's going to be playing in the final of the Cross Border Arts Challenge. And in the chat, I want to see your answers as well. So give me those. So go ahead. Diane? Uh, I think Alex Bellman. You picked the U.S. number one player, Alex Bellman. Um, although argu- now when it comes to the PDC, it'll be Jules would be the number one player and Danny would be the number two player automatically with their PDC uh, tour cards. Um, Tim? I'm going Jacob Taylor. I really like that pick a lot. I think that he's due to win one of these big events. Um, he's made the final of the Continental Cup uh, a few years ago and he just always performs well. He has the heavy hitting ability to, to really do well. Uh, I'm going to take Jules. I th- you know, it's the year of the dragon for Chinese New Year. That's got to start sticking at some point. Um, so maybe that'll happen this weekend for Jules. But I, I feel pretty good about that overall. All right. The left side or the right side of the bracket there, you got Dave Cameron, Doug Bame, Danny Lobby, who is another PDC pro, uh, taking on Steve Warnock, Stowe Bunce, John Part, uh, which I'm sure John was so excited when he saw that matchup. Just kidding. He just did commentary on his matches uh, over in Europe. Yeah, and I'm saw sure he's successful. not <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm sure he's not scared. Three-time world champion, John Part. Uh, and then Jim Long taking on Jason Brandon. Uh, so give me a name on that side of the bracket that's going to be in the final. Uh, I'm going to say Danny Lobby. Indiana's Danny Lobby. Uh, so you have Alex Bowman versus Danny Lobby. I like that. Two Americans in the final. Tim? I'm going to go with Jim Long. Two Canadians in the final. And Jim Long made the final last year in the Cross Border Dark Challenge. My thing is, is like when it gets to the semifinals, I think it it's going to be Danny and, and Jim. And Jim's slow, methodical throw is going to throw Danny off. Okay. That's interesting. I like that. Um, I will say this though: in that second <laughs> round, no matter who Danny's playing, 
either Dave Cameron or Doug Bain. That's all, that, those are also deliberate dart players for the most part. Yeah. Um, so that'll be interesting. I'm going to take Stowe Bunts. Uh, so I have uh, Jules versus Stowe. I would love to see Jim Long versus Jacob Taylor. I'd love to see Alex Bellman versus uh, Danny Lobby. And that's the beautiful thing of this. We picked six different combinations, or three different combinations. Yep. Of, and uh, every, everyone in the chat is going to have different combinations. Yep, also. I love it. I love it, guys. And getting those answers in there. A lot of Jules and a lot of Stowe, so... <laughs> Uh, Robert Cody, 100 stars. Jess Plessinger, 200 stars. Love it, guys. Appreciate you all so much. Um, but, yeah, that's in Michigan City this weekend. Saturday night, sold out. So uh, if you're looking for tickets, it's going to be that Friday night event. Uh, there's still some. Uh, there's like one one seat left yeah. on Saturday or something. And then there's there are still those two days passes, but those are very limited as well yeah. at this point. So we're very excited for the amount of people that are going to be there. Let's get back to the main event. Yeah, absolutely. Bam, there you are. All <laughs> right. Cheyenne. Let's talk about tonight's matchup. We're going to start with the player that you know very well, and that's Jeff uh, Brummett. Sorry. i got to make that perfectly clear Jeff. tonight. Yeah, Jeff. We're all Jeff. <laughs> um, tell me about Jeff Brummett. Um, he's a very nice dude. Very, very good man. Um, very I don't care about his personality. That does not help us tonight. I'm just kidding. He's also <laughs> very nice and uh, very good in the dark community. Okay. Um, everybody knows him. He's out of Brummett's Pine Village. Um, he goes practically anywhere he wants, really. Yep. But, yeah, he's very consistent. Um, a lot of people are pretty much excited to get him as a partner. Okay, so if he's a blind draw oh, up yeah, in Lafayette and, and you get him as a partner, you're excited. 100%, yes. Well, Tyler played on our show a couple weeks ago, uh, and Tyler did very well. Yeah, he's equally as good as his father. Okay, well, yeah. there you go. So that, that's why you know about that. Brummett team is hard. <laughs> yep, he's taken on, or he's paired up with Dan Libertowski. Uh, Dan is from Buchanan, Michigan. All the way from Michigan. Yep, which yeah, which I love that. Way. I believe that's our first Michigander mm -hmm. who's been on our show. Um but uh, excited to see him play for the first time. It's our first time meeting him uh, tonight, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I've heard some good things, maybe around a 60-plus average. So that's going to be a tough team. Um, that being yeah. said, they're going up against a very tough team in uh, Jeff Dixon and Eugene Smith. Uh, what do you know about either player? Do you know anything about them? Because I do, if you don't. Um, yeah, I don't really know a whole lot. Um, I, don't I mean, I've talked to him in the group chat a little bit, but okay. not a whole lot. Yeah. Um, Good personalities, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, just 100%. meeting them tonight is just. Yeah, they're everybody great guys. here is very good guys. Well, yeah. Eugene so has a CDC tour card, um, nice. a CDC tour card holder. So he's also um, put in a lot of miles this last week. He has. Yep. Mm -hmm. He was just up at DP Indy, Indiana, over in uh, Richmond, uh, yep. Indiana. Um, and wow. fourth and eighth. So there you go. Uh, so he he's probably the best player the out of the four. Oh. All right. Yeah. Um, I uh, I think that most of the players would would probably agree with that. Uh, maybe Jeff is probably close. Up. Sorry, Jeff Brummett. Um, and then you have Jeff Dixon, uh, his partner, uh, who is from Connorsville, Indiana. Uh, he plays at Mikey's Pub. Um, I believe he was there on Friday night if we're following Tim's recollection, which we should not do. Definitely should not. And if it's Jason's recollection, he said he was not there, so I'm going to probably trust neither of them since they're old. So um, I'm going to have to make up that on my own. I'm, I'm going to say he was there. Friday night, so I've seen him sometime. Yep, so there you go. <laughs> uh, but good dart player, uh, up and coming dart player. Has a lot to uh, do. It should be a very even matchup. I'm excited for it. Me too. I can't wait to see what everybody's got. Let's All right. See so, what happens. well, let's see. What's your final score prediction? It is a race to eight. So, the winning score has to be eight. Do you pick Jeff and Jeff or Jeff and Jeff? <laughs> this Jeff and Jeff. <laughs> so, Jeff Brummett and Dan Libertowski. Uh, is that just because you know this, Jeff? Yes. Being a homer? All uh, right. Whatever. And Yes and no. Well, let's That's fine. Eight what? That's fair. Eight to but, what? Um, I don't know. I'd I'd say <laughs> <laughs> I'd say probably uh either five three or sixty two. Or or <laughs> eight that. eight to what? Eight to five. It's something. something. We're gonna go. So something. <laughs> we'll see. It's the first time we've been. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dynamite drop in, Donnie. The broadcast broadcast school is really paying off. All right, you Tim even said that. I'm gonna go Jeff and Eugene eight to four. Okay. Uh, I I am also gonna pick uh, Jeff and Eugene, uh, but I think it's gonna be a lot closer than that. I think it's gonna be eight seven. I'm gonna actually have it going last like insider because I think that's gonna take a little bit for uh, for Jeff Dixon to get going. He's I can tell he's just really nervous. Um, but if he starts going, it, it'll be good. Um, but we'll see what happens, guys. And uh, let's see who's right. <laughs> I want to give a huge shout-out to our sponsors for the stream tonight. Our interview camp sponsor, the Checker Flag Tavern, Night Owl Saloon, A to Z Darts, Magic Wear, On the Rocks, and Printing Partners. Our trophies for the siege come from the Forged Egg. I'm Sean Green, joined by our guest host, Miss Cheyenne Bland. 
with the, Tim Neal on the controls, who's going to switch over to the room there like he's supposed to. And the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Jason Ives, will be tuning in from time to time. Hey, Keegan. It's what time you, is it? brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Indie Darts to the Point Streaming, I need to turn out his I'm microphone a little bit. Bring you guys the siege. My name is Yip. <laughs> in the first leg, it is Eugene to throw first. All the best game on. Oh, that was the worst attempt. <laughs> that was the best though. I've ever heard, and it was so wonderful. I'm so happy you tried it. Dude, he's like ten times, ten million times better than me when I was back then. Oh, look at this from Eugene right out the gate. That's a six ball. Get six on the twenties. We're starting off with cricket again. We are. It's cricket time, ladies and gentlemen. Here is Jeff Rummett. Uh, Jeff actually uh, has a similar situation going on as Tyler Henze, of course, with the, the uh, That's a three ball. he is missing part of his left arm uh, and his left hand. Uh, that is because of an accident, though, uh, that happened about three and a half years ago. Uh, rolled... Um, rolled over in a in some sort of utility vehicle and it it was not a not a good uh, accident for his for his arm obviously Dennis, so Dennis Shea 300 stars um that's what you'll notice there um just to throw that right out the gate uh, I will not do any of the hand jokes tonight uh if you want to hear those uh, tune in tomorrow <laughs> for the CSC chapter <laughs> series uh, cuz they write themselves I just really like to do it just so his dad can laugh the entire time Good three mark there from Dan. Our first look at the Mission Gander. And here is Eugene, who uh, just got freaked out of the fist bump. <laughs> Eugene he is a steel he tipper. Did that to yep. Me earlier. Yep. Eugene plays steel tip, steel tip only. So it's just kind of like move out of the way kind of situation there. Cody Young, 100 stars. Thank you, Cody. Appreciate that, brother. I did tell you that. <laughs> yep, I sure did. And I'm just going to say this live on air. No. Yep. That's a All right, got three. Got to save him for Hensley, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Dennis Shea, we're looking forward to uh, having you in the chat all evening long. It's always an absolute pleasure. Philip Str uh, Stuhan sent us 200 stars. Phil was on our show a couple weeks ago as well. Sarah Kitchen tuning in. And Cody Young with 100 stars. Yeah, we, we did mention that. Oh, I didn't know. That's all right. Why not? You can repeat it. Yeah, sure. All right, so what's Dan going to do here? He's at 114. Opponents are at 80. You start on the 19s, you go up to the 20s. Yeah, I close. I shoot all 19s there. You're not You're not mm. far enough ahead. Is that going to be like 100 points That's out. 120 right now. You're going to move down here the 19s. We did miss We did miss Jeff Planta Morgan. Let's go Dan, 99 stars. Hey, thanks, Jeff. My name is Jeff. Big triple there. Yep, Eugene, I'm telling you. Just solid. Switching over the 18s on Dart 2. They already had one, so it made smart. Made sense. Yep, made get smart. Some, made smart. <laughs> which is wow. probably the most ironic say statement you're going to say tonight. Yeah. It's going to get, it's only going to get better, fella folks. <laughs> fella, fella folks. folks. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm all over. Each sentence place. so far, you know. Uh, Sean in there saying, what's up, Cheyenne? Having a good time. That's a Man, Watch she is it. on fire with this commentary. <laughs> Paul, we're definitely going to have a some tonight at some point. Hey, if you're going to miss, miss by two. Triple. That is Jeffrey Dixon. We'll take that all day. Gets the point lead back. Drinking early. <laughs> I just did that. <laughs> Why I got to be drinking? Why can't I just be left handed? He's just chilling. He is left-handed, so it would be very devastating for Tim <laughs> <laughs> uh, if he had the same issue as Tyler. I feel like I haven't been here in like months. three months. It's been a long time, Tim. <laughs> yeah, give Tim a break. He's, he's taking a few weeks off. Paul, that's something mm. I do not partake in ever that's in my life. Months. Eugene closes the 19s first before going back up to the 20s for points, and that's just because he has three wedges. Right. And so now Jeff's going to look at the 17s, right? Ideally. Hope. That's a two ball. Have you ever uh, thrown with Jeff as a partner? I don't like a blind draw or anything like that? <coughs> yeah, a couple of times. Did you um, win? Yeah. Both times? Yeah. I mean, pr pretty much every time that I've played with him, I've won. 
And I mean, pretty much everyone he plays with in general, he just he wins. So <laughs> it's getting him is almost the if you're a <coughs> for Pine Village Brummets, it's very small. So okay. for Jeff Brummett to show up and for him to get a partner up, if it's a good partner, either way, he can carry a partner all the way throughout. Ryan Watson, five hundred stars. Thank you, Ryan. I, I like know. it. Ryan, you should have heard what she said about you earlier, but thanks for the 500 stars. Yeah, we wouldn't let her say it on camera. Yeah. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, guys, all month long, A to Z Darts is featuring the Emirate Dart Series from 180. Plus, a special raffle once again. Purchase the Dart of the Month and automatically get entered into the raffle to win a set of 180 Magic Matt Mullen Darts. The raffle ends May 1st, and the winner will get their choice of soft tip 19 grams or steel tip 23 grams. Good luck for you. A to Z Darts is also having an exclusive sale with discounts on all Harrow Imperial Diamond Darts. That you won't want to miss. While you're at it, check out the Shot AI launch. Yeah, I'll get to that. And see how the world of AI and darts collide, or browse the Target April drop with the new K Flex in standard number two. You can also read their blog about the upgrading your dart shafts from plastic to more durable materials. Lastly, uh, it is near dear near and dear to our hearts, but it is Autism Awareness Month. Show your support by support by shopping A to Z Darts exclusive Autism Awareness Awareness Dart flights. Just head on over to their website for all your darting needs. I know I have a set of those myself that I throw with on my okay. soft tip darts uh, more often than not. Um, so and that's for my daughter, Sophia. Garrett James Hollingsworth, 1,000 stars. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that, everybody. So, uh, yep, wouldn't change it for the world, but uh, <coughs> it's always going to be uh, great to, to give that support whenever you can. Is that both on, on the outside? They look outside each. That's not an outside one. <laughs> How is that a one? That was a trip for Singh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a trip. You see Eugene's closing the 17s. Just great darts from Eugene again. Right on the wire. Josh Hill, that's kind of my job. Yeah, sorry. It's my first time. <laughs> not like <laughs> I'm going to know. I'm just sitting here telling me what to do. That's all right. It was not Will's. It's never been Will's first time, but I still do those two. We used to split them. But I just told him I'd do them all. Just Should have Cheyenne do it. Had to let me do it. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> so the best thing I do is I have them memorized. Uh, if you want to know how to get involved with the CSE Challenger Series. Dennis Shea, 1,000 stars. Curtis Fosbrink, 500 stars. Thank you very much, Phil. Who goes the dynamite for all these stars, guys? That's a big old five wow, mark there. That was good. Bye. Jeffrey's throwing really Jeff well in this league. He's the most nervous one. Uh, he was the most nervous one, but... I'm going to be honest with you. He had a jug of something special I gave uh, him a little him. pep talk outside. Did you? That's ya? what I did. That's what happened. So you, you made it so that they were going to be the team, though. To it also helps when your partner starts off with a five mark in your form. You know? Helps a little bit. A little bit. I mean, like, okay, I just need to throw some darts. I have a good time. I think when she found out that Eugene was a CDC card holder, he, he's like, I don't know what that means. And I was like, well, it means he plays on the Pro Tour in North America. That's so, oh, okay. Like, you're going to be just fine. All right. Yeah. That will settle anyone down real quick. Caleb Hamilton tuning in. Our last guest host from a couple weeks ago. Caleb. I missed him. Y and he missed him, too. You 76 oh. points on the Castle Countdown from Caleb. <laughs> you are Sean's ago. favorite person, Caleb. Love Congratulations. It. You're my favorite, too, but for other reasons. Paul, if you want to get involved in the seeds, just reach out to Jason Ives uh, on Facebook. Uh, now that is spelled uh, Jason like normal. O-V-O. And then O-V-O. <laughs> like and then Castle is the last name that he's using now. Uh, so at least... That's what's happening this week. We'll see what happens next week when he get loses that Facebook page. He has a very unique mind. Yeah, when he gets Facebook banned again. Yep. He's would, on like... It would be a third time's a charm situation. Third or fourth or something. I do not know where that dart was trying to go. But it was at the bullseye. I had the white, right way to it. I think it was trip 13 to leave double 20. Hey. You do what you can do, Junior. Yep. All right. Dan can... This isn't over with yet. I, I know it's three close. wedges, but... A lot of bulls goes a long way. There's one. Goes by the actual dart or er, actual nickname Heavy D. Falls into a 15. That's a three. There we go. We'll stay here on the bullseye cam. Available for sponsorship. But look at this. Eugene using his new uh, custom, custom darts. Three. Two bulls and a 16. We'll take that, and Jeff's going to have to look at bowls. Welcome back. Thanks. <laughs> you know, you might as well just say these things out loud that you're typing to me because you'll be saying more. <laughs> Don't do that. Why <laughs> do you keep calling me out like that? Well, that's what we do. That's oh how gosh. we roll. 
All right, then. Fine. I told you I'm sarcastic every time. It's okay. Well, you can let everybody know that we're playing after this is done and that you guys are going to lose. Well, one of us might. All right. Jeff needs one bowl here to close this first leg out. (laughs) Uh, Guys, seriously, just if you want to get involved with the siege, just leave your name. And uh, if you're returning your new player on our pinned Facebook post. As Jeff Dixon gets leg number one, that's going to settle you in no matter who you are. One nothing score line. You said eight to four, Tim. I did. Second leg, it's open in, open out. Oh one. If Jeff <laughs> beats the <throw> first, <laughs> he was going to say Jeff to throw first. I love it. You know he hates this as much as as anyone. From Mercedes Connor, Weston says go, Papal. Aw, I love that. Garrett, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I am always talking smack, but it's okay. Thirteen. She's. The reason why she's struggling with saying words right now is because she's usually talking smack while also being able to uh, say whatever she wants. And right now she's trying to make sure that her filter uh, stay in there. (laughs) People don't realize how difficult that is, especially if you're not here all the time. I mean, you're from Philadelphia, for goodness sake. I still, like, every week I have to, like, consciously think about it. This is my first time on this. That's true. So, like, give me a break. Well, I mean, you can, you can, you're allowed to... (laughs) I don't know why we <laughs> have, like, just try not to cuss. It's not like you can't. At some points, uh, we've had that happen before. And it's been me. Most of the time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. It has never been me. I, but that's because I have the unique pleasure of having a teacher filter um, that I've had to use for 12 years. And the one time that teacher filter failed me <laughs> was, was quite the experience. You heard the word filter, but no clue what it means. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't know what? Oh. Oh. Vanishé. From Pretty Partners. It. All right, so starting off slow here. That cricket leg was much better. We see it. Leg number one. There's still a lot of nerves going on in those cricket matches. Oh, yeah. Once they each get one, one, it'll, it'll settle down. Yep. You can see they're improving each time. Eugene's going to try and settle in with a big score here. This is only the. Third time Eugene's actually using these barrels. So Yep. Used them this past weekend at DP Indiana. I mean, a fourth and an eighth with the talent that was there. That's yep. pretty impressive. Yeah, there were a few card holders uh, at that event. Yeah, we said Sunday, uh, they were graced by Larry Butler. We got Jason Watt, the BDG. Yep. Ashton Watt was there. Yep. Who's, uh, who has a CT tour card as well. Oh, that was going to be good. They're still improving every round, to be fair. Uh, 100%. I, don't know, I thought he was going to hit it right in the foot. And Jeff Dixon has been, so far, the surprise for me. Because you guys should have seen his nerves at the get-go. Yeah, he was oh, yeah. But he has settled in really nicely and is throwing very well. Even with that 21 there. These first couple oh one games is where people st- they tend to overthink their every dart they're living on the edge. Yeah. Like the first three or four games, at least for me it was. It was like, oh, calm down. Just throw your darts, have a good time. It, like it's when you're when you when you shoot the twenty, hit a one, and you're pressure, and then you overshoot, yeah. hit a five, and slow then down, breathe. Now, you, now you're in your own head. And by the way, keeping my foot on the ground, guys. That works. Uh, Jason wants to make the comment. Oh, uh, is that what he was talking yeah. about on the show? Is that you kicked your foot up? Yep, but I kept bringing it up. The best uh, steel tip or soft tip dart play, uh, female dart player in the United States, Chrissy Grimmel, kicks that foot. Yeah. Um, there's actually Abby Spot, one of the one of the best, kicks her foot. Yeah. Cheyenne Richards kicks her foot. It's really okay. <laughs> Kick your foot out. Bud Crystal in the elbow room, 200 stars. Thank you, Bud. It was his weekend. WrestleMania oh, was awesome. All three days. There you go. I did not watch that, but I heard good things. I saw a lot of highlights. Ed what Baker tuning in. What's up, Ed? How are you doing, Bill? What's up, Ed? What's uh, Jeff? <laughs> Jeff is winning. one nothing. Jeff and Jeff over Jeff and Jeff. And yes, two other names are not actually Jeff, but that's okay. Our guest host tonight, Jeff Bland. You have a Jeff Bland in your family, because wouldn't that be awkward? 
the third. I don't think I do. Well, there you go. You're the first. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> they <laughs> <laughs> Gene switching down. 47 leaves it even. Paul Rogers, you knew it was steel from the get-go. You could have practiced. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, huge shout-out. Dan Li Libertowski going to shout-out his wife, Amy. Uh, thanks for allowing him to be here. Uh, <laughs> their kids, Colt, Sadie, and Bo, uh, and then his Diltz family uh, for his uh, vendor there. Thanks for allowing us to have him. Using the Craig Cook 20-gram darts, uh, who's one of his – Main mentor, so I love that aspect of it as well. Ed Baker, 99 stars. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, Ed. Phil, you were just on. <laughs> Says, uh, watching this makes me want to come back. That's really weird, because every time I play on the Siege, I never want to play on the Siege again <laughs> for a very long time. I'm the only one that's never won. Well, <laughs> I didn't really win. Sean Rosner won and carried me. You got a trophy? Yeah, I did. A couple of them. For now. Sean Rosner carried he did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what? Knock you off a peg or two. <laughs> I have Round not been applause. dissed that hard in a long time. That was impressive. <laughs> Ed Baker said 99 for Shy V and Jeff. <laughs> Eugene, 19 or Bullhead? He has his options. With them on 166, he really can just mm -hmm. go about this to leave whatever he wants to leave. It Triple looks like 20 for double 18. There you go. Seventy-six. Fifty-nine. We'll come back with fifty-six for his partner. So Curtis said he'd take you as a partner, Sean. Eighty-six. You've lost. Hey, there you go. Oh, uh, there's Amy. I love it. Says, "Go, Daddy." Well, here is Dad. Heavy D. Paul Rogers, five hundred stars. Thank you, brother. Well, we appreciate that, bud. <laughs> One fifty one left. Which this is where you're talking about Tim with the thing overthinking this. Yeah, you're too far down, just throw your darts. Yep. Yeah, and that's exactly what happens there. Once you hit the triple five, like all right, oh, I left an out shot. Like just free just throw. D you require fifty six. Sixteen for tops. Ideally. No. Does not do that. Forty nine left. In case you're wondering, guys, Cheyenne's just reading comments. She's not even Talking anymore. I'm looking through. Thank you. Throws it off the board. That's not the 16. right shot. Well, Jeff that's at least 40. Yeah. <laughs> math ain't math. <laughs> Janice Eileen, tuning her name. What's up, baby? Janice, uh, that was actually really cool to see Janice on Friday, too. She's there every Friday. <laughs> that's fair. You were there for part of Friday. I don't uh, And then I, I started talking to this other guy. Um, much, much, you know what? He was, uh, he was a fun character. Oh, regular 20. Tops for Eugene. Now double 10. So win the second leg. Mm. This against the throw. Gets it done on dart three with a big last dart in the double 20. Two nothing lead now for Eugene and Jeff. Sean Calhoun and Gary Kreider are watching. Curtis Nick DeRachi to share is Third watching along with us. Keep it rolling. This time it's Eugene to throw first. Paul All Rogers says, that is why you can't have good guest hosts. You keep being mean to them. Paul, you should have heard her before we started. She was so mean to me. It, to be fair, they didn't tell me. What, I mean, they told me what to do. But then uh, nobody wanted to fill me in that I had to say eight. I thought you meant two eight. Right? And I was like, wait a minute. That's not what I did. I said, you it is a race to eight, so the winning yeah. score has to have literally. eight in it, is literally yeah. what I said. You didn't say that before. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. It's all Sean's fault. It is. Thank <laughs> you. Got me up here looking like a fool because of you. <laughs> I apologize. Phil Philip wants to know if you'll be his partner sometime, Sh Cheyenne. Um, Nick, I can definitely confirm for 145 stars, Sean's always mean to you. I mean, I don't know who Philip is. Do you guys oh, know who Philip is? Yeah, he played on our show uh, two weeks ago. Tim does not know him. Uh, he was quite the character. Good guy. I mean, fun. I'll play with anybody. I don't, there I don't you mind. Go. There you go. I always talk about coming I back to I throw better with new people. And Nick, I'm not mean to you. You're mean to everybody. Well, kind of part of the persona, I guess. That's what I do. I'm really nice to everyone who's not wearing a headset. There's 30. 
That's, that's a great last. Nine. Big old 90 on the third dart. I like the way all three of those darts look, too. Yeah. You set on in. Yep. Looked in there nicely. All right. Eugene. A little worried about Eugene's consistency. Just steamroll in this match. Right. And that's <laughs> at this point, and it's because if they get down to an out and it's Eugene throwing, he is he doesn't have the nerves that everyone else is going to have looking at an out just regularly in general. Even Jeff doesn't, I don't think he plays as much steel tip, correct? Um, no. Big gun there. Not that I know of. I don't, I don't really know much, uh, like a lot about what he plays, but I know he plays a lot of soft tip. But he's also very good at both. Equally. Well, yeah. I mean. Comes with it. Talent's talent. 39. If Jeff Dixon just settles down and just throws his darts and let Eugene worry about everything else, I think that's mm -hmm. going to propel those guys pretty fast. Yeah, if, I mean, I think Jeff is Jeff Dixon. It has to be under the impression, the impression at this point of like, hey, my partner's going to, you know, help me out here more than anything else. Dan By the way, did we notice that the shoes match the jersey? We just need to say that right now because it's amazing. <laughs> I noticed that earlier. There we go for the 180. Oh, 140. big 140. Jeff, wow. you require 170. Does Jeff like to go fishing? Let's go big fishing. <laughs> oh, that's a good first dart. That's a better first dart than most, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. Yep, good second dart. 90 left. He shouldn't stay there on dart three, but he does. Oh, he does. Big 140. The leave 30. Matches it. What a, yeah, what a back to back 140 round. And that was after he got a 100. And this is a big thing. Like a big shot like that, can Jeff settle down or is he going to apply too much pressure to and himself? And a seven again from Jeff. And you require 30. So here we go. Double 15 for the first leg on the board for Dan and Jeff. Level 15, not a favorite amongst steel tip players for an obvious reason that we'll talk about in one second. <laughs> Most likely. There it is. Just yeah. kidding. You were saying? <laughs> Double 15 <laughs> for Dan. And they're on the board. I'd say Dan Dan shot very well that leg. He sure did, but Jeff shot better. Sean Calhoun, 20 stars. Let's go, Jeff. Last leg before it's back to cricket Jeff averaged 100 in that leg. Yep. First. All the best. Game up. And I love the Jeff in the in the chat there. And yes, sir. For Dan. Dan, you're telling me that Jeff uh, that Dan had a friend named Jeff and he didn't bring you? Blasphemy. You asked for one thing. Do you know a Jeff? Besides that, Jeff? Forty five. And uh, Cohe? Yeah, Jeff Cohe, that's the only one. Okay. Really? That was my name my name is Jeff, and we just don't have enough Jeffs here. Play the clip from 21 Jump Street. <laughs> 22 Jump Street. Like 22 my name is Jeff. Uh, although we can just have Keegan say it over and over again. <laughs> it was so good. It was uh, so great. Mine at the beginning when we were live was way better than my other one. Fair. So how are you enjoying sitting on this side of the of things? Different? It's different. What's been uh, the most... Uh, I guess, surprising aspect of this, of sitting over here on this side? 45. Um, well, just, uh, I mean, not really getting to, not getting to move. Okay. Like, I got to sit here and I can't move, but it's okay because I get to watch. I get to be a spectator, and I, I get to enjoy the game. Yeah, and honestly, you're doing what a lot of guest hosts do um, and what a lot of people who are even really chatty uh, in their normal everyday lives will do when they put on a headset if they're watching darts and they're usually quiet while they're watching darts and they're not talking the entire time, like I'm guessing you probably are <laughs> uh, when you're watching right. something interesting, um, everyone just kind of reverts back to that. Yep. Definitely got my focus. And don't worry, because Tim's had like 200 shows of experience. He still just doesn't talk very much. Huh? Oh, Tim's back. Guys, the Philly legend is back. <laughs> Philly, we missed you. Did you get Phillips... Uh 500 stars? I did not. Phillips Duhan, 500 stars for Jeff's win. There you go, for the Jeff win. 
All right, a little bit slow from uh, both players about to get here. Well, from all four players, not both. Both teams. Right. See, I sound stupid every time I talk, so I don't know why you're even worried about it. You were listening Lies. to it in the beginning, so it's only fair. What do you mean? <laughs> don't bring it over here. <laughs> Garrett, this is, I am I think you're sadly mistaken. She is quiet right now. Paul, that's probably very true. I don't I'm know. If I'm trying to watch, guys. All the ladies tuning in, there is a all-ladies draw over at uh, Thirsty Turtle 2 Saturday. Sign up at 12.30, starts at 1. All ladies. There you go. Time. Thirsty Turtle 2. Beach Grove. Beach Grove. Indiana. <laughs> I, clearly. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I live in Lafayette. <laughs> Well, it's, it's for all of the ladies that are in the chat, not for you. Huge congratulations, <laughs> Lee Jones and our own Trevor Sellers went into Pioneer Champions League. Absolutely. To the point streaming sponsor player, Trevor Sellers. Love to see that with Ben. Right? Yep. With Lee. Lee. Yeah, it was Lee. Lee. I knew I was wrong. I said Lee Jones. I know, but then I said it. Nikki's going to be across border. That's amazing. Excited to see you, Nikki. Uh, Andy asking why is double fifteen not favored for steel tip? Uh, because if you go inside on it and you leave fifteen, it's uh, just a, it's an awkward split. Uh, but around the three, there's the nineteen and seventeen. Around the seven, there's the nineteen and sixteen. It just makes it a very awkward split on that number. And it is a good soft tip out. Uh, when I learned how to play soft tip, like yeah, most I love do, that out. <laughs> the, the zero on the end is what is clean about that. So when you learn all that math, you immediately go to the zeros, which is the thirty, the forty. Um, and so since that's how a lot of soft tip players are taught to, to leave that, it just se tends to be the w most oh. left soft tip finish uh, when they're playing steel tip. I will say if, if I have 150 left and my first starts in triple 20, it's in a great spot. I'm not moving. I'm staying there, and I'm going for the double 50. Well, yeah, but that's a different yeah, I'm not reason altogether. Right. Ideally, you don't want to leave a number that's going to leave you odd if you hit a single. Fair. That being said, I would switch on to the 18th. Because I'm weird. Also, if you're in the Kokomo area Saturday, uh, Cooper's Pub, sign up at 11, start at noon, 100% more par match. There you go. Nice. I believe Tori Gilstrap is the one that's going to be running yep. that. So She's been posting about that uh, yep. this past weekend and so this one. If you're in the Kokomo area this there Saturday. There you go. That's closer to you. You happy now? No. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that close. That's fair. Actually, is not is it close or no? Kokomo? In Lafayette? It's like a 45 minute. That's not Maybe bad. 30, yeah. 40 minutes it's closer That's not bad. Yeah. Well, not me, but yeah. It's about the same for me. I mean, I'm an hour away from Indy. I'm an hour and like 15, 30 minutes from here. Also, this Saturday yeah. is uh, Finding a Cure, One Daughter at a Time, MS Draw down in Terre Haute, Indiana. There you go. Uh, We've always uh, been big supporters of that sign one. Sign up at 12, cut off at 1.30, start at 2. So you have an hour and a half to sign up. So. 82. Then Rosner would like uh, everybody yeah, to know, don't forget, there's a steel tip draw. Yeah, you want to make up for what you said earlier. Uh, every Monday at Sideline Sports Pub in Avon. Uh, Sean, she was shocked that I said that you carried me when we won on the show. Yeah. Sean, I, I, I will say, I don't recall. we sponsored the boards down at uh, the MS Draw. If you do want to sponsor it, yep. uh, they're $25 a piece. Uh, easy easy to do. Yep. And so goes a long way. Go to Indie Darts. All the information is on there. Yep. Or go to Terry Hurt Dart page. All information is there. There you go. Eugene's going to try and set up his partner for a potential. 44. Well, uh, That's unlucky. Yeah. Not quite what he's looking for doing there. Sean said his bad words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was that a fat joke, Sean? I, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Trip 18, double 12. Jason already had me do the pre, uh, the opening with Cheyenne. I've Six. never felt larger in my life. <laughs> than I have sit, sit next to her. <laughs> the juxtaposition there has got to be hilarious. I had to move my chair oh. all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> you did actually do that. I did. We were a whole like two head difference. It was. Well, it was crazy. Up. Yeah, thanks for doing that. I feel more comfortable. It's there you go. 38 leaves tops if he returns. Jesse, this would be a heck of a checkout from Jeff. <laughs> Leaves the 100. Not the right way to go about it, but who cares? I'm not mad at it. At I'm all. not at, at uh, all I would for shoot him, that yeah. over than shooting the 20. 53. I just don't like hitting the, if you hit the triple, you still got to yeah. hit another triple. That's the only problem there. Jeff, 40. 
Double ten. No score. Yep, oh, he, he hit the wrong the number. Oh, he opened. Oh, no. Oh. Require it's steel tip. He's a soft tipper. Well, there you go. He doesn't play much steel. We learned that. He was here two weeks ago. What was he watching? I have no idea. I think he's probably focused on just how well Tyler was doing. Way to go, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> 20 for tops. Dad, you don't want to hear what Tyler just said there. Yeah. Double 10. <coughs> and Eugene hits it. Double, play. double. And uh, job, what a steal of a leg. 3-1 to one now, the score line. And that one might uh, might hurt Jeff. Jeff might be kicking himself for a hot minute there. Yeah, but I think he'll be right, right back so into it. No I think he'll be okay. Hey, guess what? Cricket time. There it's you go, time Keegan. It is cricket time. The best game on. Eugene and Jeff are going to have a chance to take a 4-1 to one lead here. Then they saying shout out to my nephew Joe Downing tuning in. Uh, yes, that's What's up, right. Joe? Nikki saying out of dad. Love it. That's a three ball. As Eugene, we're just gonna go ahead and shout out. Uh Dart Brokers, Galaxy Apparel, Decker Tavern, Maze Roofing, and then uh Brooke, Nikki, and Dustin. There you go, Nikki. Good shout out to you there from Dad. Thank you, appreciate that. You know, you can just say these things, too, if you want. Yeah. Pass. Okay. Well, we're passes. trying, We're trying, folks. All right. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Dixon would like to shout out Jesse and Brianna, uh, his kids, uh, Sam and Karen, his parents, and then That's a six big six Marvin mark Rainer. there. Sorry about that. Jeff that was Dixon. Jason's uh, handwriting. Mentors, Randall Keys. We're all sorry to hear that. Just kidding. Love you, Randall. <laughs> hey, Kokomo's bumping this weekend. Uh, there's a steel tip blind draw over at Hatfield's break and run as well. Uh, starts at 2 o'clock. So. Brought to you by IDA. There you go. So. We got a busy weekend here for darts in Indiana. Yes, we do. And, of course, the cross-border challenge up in Michigan City is going to be a great time. And right now, uh, speaking of great times, Eugene and Jeff are having a great time in this cricket leg. Yeah, they're just coasting <laughs> right now. Single, yes, sir. Eugene gonna scoot over just a he tad. Went the wrong way. That's a two mark. Yeah, that's unlucky to start too. All right. My opportunity is there. Big round here goes a long way. So how long have you known uh Jeff in the dark community? That's a two mark. Um I honestly I'd probably say since like twenty nineteen. Uh, okay, so for quite a while. Yeah, maybe 2020. Honestly, it's been a while. did you? So you did you meet him before the accident? Uh, no. Okay. Dennis Shea, 500 stars. Thank you, Dennis. It was just a curiosity there that I had. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I had no idea how it happened or anything. Just met him and they said, uh. This is it. Yeah. I said, all right. And he <laughs> gave me nuts. So okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's unlucky. Blocks the whole triple 16. That's the one dart I absolutely hate. <laughs> get that triple yep. eight right yeah. above the 16. Especially when you're almost forced to stay there for some reason. And yeah, cool. I always also yeah. say that the 16s and the 15s are the hardest dart to adjust weight-wise. 500 stars from Dennis Shea. Who said that? That's a one mark. Dennis gets all of the weight. Of course, from everybody. Michael Ewing in there saying, come on, Pac-Man. That is Eugene. Yeah, snowmobile accident. Emily Which Cox, is similar. Emily Pryor. Guys. Emily, Emily's I'm supposed assuming. to be my doubles partner. Okay, there if, you go. If that <laughs> goes to What's her name? Emily Cox. Uh, she's with Ryan Cox. Okay. Should be known, but um, Jeff Brummett does. Yep. All right, cool. Have you shot before? 
Are, are you going to play in a league together, or are you going to beforehand, or are you just going to go um, right at? We've we've thrown in the league, thrown in different dart tournaments at the Earl Park Legion. Um, so you're very comfortable with each other. Yeah. Nice. And we, they're they're very great people. Hopefully, we can do good with them. There you go. And I haven't thought about setting up partners for an event in like so so long. That's two months. Yours is for a different reason. That's crazy. Yeah. To set up so far in advance. Yeah, <laughs> there's a long ways from, from state. But some people do it like right after they play. That's a single 15. If they have good memories. If they don't indulge too much in uh, beverages. Or, or if you're astute with you, write it down on your phone. That's a two month. There you go. All right. Last potential scoring opportunity except for the Bulls. Gets the single. Michael David Ewing. 200 stars. Because I have it in a minute. Well, it's we appreciate that. So Good luck to you this weekend. Hope you have a great turnout down there in Terre Haute for the MS Draw. I. Yeah. Bullseye. That's a one. That was not at the bullseye. I want nope. everybody to know he that. He shot the 19. Yeah. Garrett saying Emily and Ryan would be good candidates for the show. Do you agree with that? I agree. You um, didn't say I their names, so. Uh, yeah. Well, Just kidding. Emily and Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think they'll be very good candidates for the show. I don't think they'll be partnered up together because Jason He's do chasing. that type of thing. But, yeah, um, I recommend both of them. That would be a good show. And I like this move here from, from Dan, honestly, uh, with no points, because uh, you know that Eugene's probably going to take care of that right here. The only downside is you can't close them all. That last start, I would like to go back to the bowl. But Eugene's probably just going to give the point lead here. Yep, there that is. And now right at the bowl. That's a four month. Allegedly. It's dragged a little low, but that'll do. Look like my eye. <laughs> Chris Stoneberger sending 200 stars. Aaron Longhorn says Jeff and Jeff for the win. Joke's on you. Got two in there. We'll stay here on the Super Bulls I can. I like it. That'd be awesome. Well, there you go. You know, I don't see all the same people that pop up that you do. Big that's shout out to all those guys that are Monday <laughs> nights <laughs> coming, <laughs> coming down for the steel tip draw over at Sideline. Yeah, that's absolutely. Really cool to see. And it's a huge shout out, honestly, to these four players with how far um, they drove here to be to be at this tonight. Uh Everyone hit some rain on the way, including Cheyenne. <laughs> hit some rain on the way, too. Uh, Got to love that 465 traffic that we all kind of deal with here. Dan throwing very well right the second. Oh, oh <laughs> just falls in the 19. Didn't need that one. But see if Eugene goes right at it. See if he stays there. He, still, he can't stay there now, yeah. That's a three month. Yeah, triple 20 on dart three. Big dart. I didn't mean hit, hit the super 20. I know you didn't. That was I just impressive like, camera I pushed work. all four buttons at the same time, <laughs> and that's what popped up. Great. He's going to break the <laughs> stream deck here, guys. Continue to hit some bowls. That's a two ball. Hey, there's that close on the 16. Need to get it at some point. Might as well be now. All right, Jeff yeah. needs two bowls here. He's going straight at it. Hits the first. I'm not going to worry about that second little guy. Yeah, it's over in the four somewhere. That's a warm up. He's one step closer to the edge. A little nervous. You think he still is? Yeah. Because he told me outside he was. But I told him to do it. Go have fun. But you've talked to him since he started? Not since he started, but just looking at how he's throwing. Oh, uh, that's fair. Look at how he grabs the dart. No, that's, that's fair. I'll agree with that. That's what he said. It's just he's up three to one. That's the only reason why I'm a little bit. Yeah, but I would be I think settled. It, I think it's because of his partner. You know, right. Like Eugene's been throwing really well. He don't want to let him down. All this stuff. That's what he was saying outside, and I told him he ain't gonna have no issues. I will say it's interesting that uh, that game shot so Eugene hits that. Uh, Dan is used to fist bumping every time he goes past. Yeah. And <laughs> Eugene is definitely not. And so Eugene nope. now just pauses. 
lets Dan kind of right. tap him as he, and then he steps up to Alexa, the line. Alexa, play thank you because it's double in, uh, Charles, double out we are not dropping any frames here, so yeah, we have no uh, check, frame drop. check your uh, your wonderful connection there. Hit the refresh button. All the best came on. Just saying, if you get a chance to talk to Dan, he has the perfect personality though uh, to be a guest host on the show. I love that. We're playing double in, double out. A little Dido action. Yep. Just one Dido. Then we go singles. Cool. My tea's gone cold. I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. The Dido song. Rob and Jill are yelling at Jess. You think that he's getting in? I think Eugene does, yeah. See? I told you. So the art line is... They don't play a lot of double in, double out. Nobody wants to start it. <laughs> I love how they all love it. Oh, yeah. I, listen, at a certain point, and I guess I'll ask you this, at a certain point, did it just become like, we're kind of on it together. Did it feel like that yeah. at, at a certain point? Yeah, it was like, first of all, I didn't know that there was no music, and I didn't have headphones to bring, so it was all of us just talking to each other. Yep, yep, yep. We have been knocked for some music strikes before, so yeah, we, try <laughs> we try to limit that sound in there. Except for that sound of that nice ice-cold Coke, Coke being opened. It might be Dr. Pepper. It could be Cherry Coke uh, if, if they found the ones in the back. Hey, there we on. go. Jeffrey's in. Nerves. In. <laughs> well, oh, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe he just felt like it was his duty to do that. There you go. Yeah. We'll see. All right, Jeff trying to get in as well. See if he switches here on dart three. He this is, is where lack of, like, not used to oh. doubling in. Yeah. You don't have that left side or right side I would buffer to go that's to. That's what I do. Instead of that, I go. 30. The one thing I'm going to say about Eugene's throw that I'll tell everyone is technically very sound yeah. is how he fires that dart into the dartboard. Uh, it pops in there more so than you'll see from any of the other three players. So Dan's kind of flips into there a little bit more of a kind of a float. That's the big difference between a lot of soft tippers and steel tippers. Man, it's he's in, gets in. it in. It's a lot, it's a big difference between the top players in the game and being just not in that category. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dennis Shea, 500 stuff. Yeah, <laughs> Dennis. 41. How about Miss Crystal's in the chat saying, hey, hey, guys, what's up? She just played Steel Tip last night, came out with five marks back to back. Congratulations. There you go. Another Coke 41. being opened back there. <laughs> we have great microphones to pick up that. Yeah. And everything Keegan says. Yeah, I warned them about that in there. Yep, I yep, gave yep. them all a little It was probably the Keegan opening his own drink. No. <laughs> yeah, there you go. 96. Oh. Great switch after dart one, too. Good cover shot. <laughs> that matches your <laughs> necklace. See what you did. I mean, I wasn't. It's not like it was planned. Mm. going to happen there. It was organic. Oh, we must be doing. Uh -oh. We must be doing bad. Jason's coming in, so he's gonna cut my mic off. <laughs> oh no, there's no need to do that. <laughs> now well, I control that. Oh, all Tim's gonna do that. I'll never cut your mic off. <laughs> Let's cut his off for mine. That's fine. You know what? I'll just take a break. Jeez, what is that What's terribleness? Wow. I'm good. Uh, I don't know if we are. That's the whole point. My eardrums aren't. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Cheyenne, you're doing a wonderful job. Sean, pretty average. Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah. <laughs> Cheyenne is doing very well. Um, we're going to have a lot of great points. Working on not as being as nervous and speaking up, and I'll be all right. Uh, you're doing fantastic, young lady. Don't worry about a thing. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. It's a great show. Good matchup. I'm telling you right now, I think Jeff and Dan are going to come back. Yeah? I do. I do. What, what gives you that feeling right now? Because I think Dan's just going to keep on getting better and better and better as the night goes on. 
That young man had a three-hour drive to get here. He was a little bit nervous when he showed up, and I think he's just going to get more and more comfy. Is that my microphone? Yeah, man? it sure is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You plug everything in? It's not not yours. Let's put it that way. That's a hell of a way to get rid of me. It ain't mine. See, even he said hell. So you're fine. Let him know, because he ain't, can't see none of that, huh? Uh, Paul saying hello, Mr. <laughs> Ives. What's going on, Paul? And then he said, sir. Randall Keys tuning in. What's up, Randall? <laughs> I was waiting for him to say something. I'm like, oh, he Jack can't you see it. Wait, wait. Paul Rogers sent you gifts from overseas? Ye- well, uh, yeah. Uh, he's got a friend that lives in Leicester, England, that, that uh, sent me some flights and some stickers. And All right. Listen, uh, you're I'm killing gonna, me with that. Yeah, I'm going to sign off. Yeah, that's bad. Hey, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Sorry. Still don't touch it. Yeah, Still don't touch so it. Bad. Stop it. <laughs> Put it down. Stop. Stop touching it. Oh. <laughs> Eve dropped it. <laughs> 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 Did I put a little pressure on you there? Oh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we can't have nice things. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> Literal mic drop. Wow. Just threw it right uh, on the floor. I love how he said, that's enough. Take it off, and then it just fell. Uh, but he is very grateful for the gift. That's what he was trying to say. 39. Uh, from your friend from Lester. Yeah, he sent him something from overseas, sent you two guys insomnia cookies. Yeah, yeah, it was great. <laughs> but he did give me a set of dark side. Well, there you go. <laughs> 92 left for Eugene, now 72. See where out he goes. He has the 16s, he has the 12s. He went to 12 right. Which I'm okay with. It makes it a little bit more um, just straight up for his partner. I'll leave the 60, potentially. Kevin Shaver tuning in. What's up, Kevin? Please yeah. like, share, guys. Let people know we're live. Absolutely. Dan and Jeff uh, a little bit behind here. I'm going to share this bad boy out again. I think they're about yeah, to share it too. turn it up. Forty-five. Jeff D requires 63. This is the last leg of... Doubles, they will play two legs of uh, singles, 59, 01. 59, 19 for top. Dan versus Jeff, and then Jeff versus Eugene. That's a God six. forbid we have Jeff versus Jeff, but that's 53 fine. 53 left. What do we got left? 53. Now we have 40. All right. 23. He had time to do that. No harm done with Eugene. Paul, I'm, jo- I'm just messing with your brother. You, you gave me a set of darts. I can't complain. I might be the only person in the country that has every one of Johnny K's darts now. There you go. That's awesome. Even Johnny doesn't have them all. (laughs) 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 Well, he missed. (laughs) Eugene, you require 40. What you doing there, bro? And right on the first dart there from Eugene. And it is 5 to 1 now. That brings the scoreline five to favor, or five to one. In five to favor? Uh, what does that mean? Jeff. All right, it's singles O one one time. Give me Dan and give me Jeff D. There we go. So Dan and Jeff are going to get started here in singles O one. one uh, Who are we favoring here? Oops. I'm going to say slight edge to Dan it is over Dan, Jeff. Dan's been more consistent. I would say that. Uh, Derek Kitchen, I do not have Chrissy Grimmels. But I might have some connections. I might be able to get you. Uh, she doesn't like sorry. me, so. It is double out. Straight in double out. I'm I just kidding. Like she loves either. me. Um, <laughs> she just hates Boom Goes the Dynamite, Jeff which is also Jeff fair. All the best game up. So after our next 0-1 match, we'll have a slight break. Yep. Uh, after Jeff and Eugene play, uh, it'll be about a two-minute break, so don't go anywhere. 85. And look at Jeff Dixon starting off and uh, solid 85. Here from our sponsor, A to Z Darts.com. Huge shout out to A to Z Darts, On the Rocks, Magic Wear, Night Owls, and Printing Partners. And of course, the Checker Flag Tavern. Is that on or above? That's above. And if only we had a camera that showed that really clearly. Yeah. No, nope. this one. There you go. Oh, look wow. at that. Now I can see you it. might switch now, though, now that we did that. Definitely switch. Oh. <laughs> See what you did there? Uh, at least I called it that out. That one's your fault. Someone didn't switch. That's not my fault. 
Uh, Sean Cohen says, any date on the movie? Uh, no, not not at all. Um, it's just in start. You could be a backup. Yeah, we just started uh, <laughs> filming uh, last week, so. Um, Do you have information on if people want to sign up to be yeah, background noise? I mean, go to uh, Bowls the Movie on Facebook. Uh, you'll see the posts that are that are there. Um, I believe I have it shared on my page as well. Um, but yeah, you can say what that you're in a. Where's the majority mm -hmm. of the recruit? Uh, it's all taping. gonna be in Michigan City. It's all Michigan City. Yep. Except the finals, right? Like nope, that's in Michigan City too. They're playing at the same exact location as, as the Cross Border Darts okay. Challenge. I thought they were doing something with the U.S. Masters. Yep. There you go. Just uh, email extras at bullsthemovie dot com uh, for more details on that. I have to be a background actor. I'm pretty sure uh, Sunday is a big day for uh, for that hey as they're are. filming the um, the World Championship scenes there. All right, Dan stepping up. Got some work to do here. But Sean, to answer your summer. question as much as I know, uh, end of summer, fall time probably. Mm -hmm. That's right what they said. It, yeah, it's a <laughs> game of millimeters, and you're seeing them all from Dan. Bad electrician, bad electrician syndrome, just wiring the wrong side <laughs> of the target. Jeff, a chance to stay in control here. It's going 85. 2281. Great 85. catch again. That, that third dart's been saving. Listen, LDC, baby. Last dart counts. Yeah, but do you need to throw his darts? He's, he was the most consistent out of everybody for a little while. He's got a good throw. I mean, looking how he's. Like, he brings it. From a sense of looking at him when he's throwing it, it's like he brings him right in between his eyebrows. Yep. And then he just lets go. And yeah. that's that. It's at the board. I would say the downside is, is I would say that's a traditional golf tip throw. He doesn't really follow through too much. Right. Which has a is a hindrance here in skill tip. Yeah, so I've noticed <laughs> lately. And all the, I'm going to be fair with you, though, Tim. Uh, it, it will hinder in soft tip, too. Yeah. A lot of people just don't recognize that. Like it, it's not as noticeable. If that makes sense. There's a there's a bigger variance, right? Like the the triples are bigger, the doubles are bigger, the bullseye's bigger. Um, you kind of get away with it a little. Kevin, I would agree with Sean there. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, if you're used to throwing an 18 gram dart, maybe start off with a 21 gram dart, 22 gram dart for steel. But just throwing and getting used to something. Uh, Tim's the type of person that'll <laughs> tell you. Uh, any dart's fine. He'll pick up a dart and throw it and hit a 180 with it after five rounds throwing once, it. Once you get it, once your throw's the same on both sides, it, it really doesn't matter. It might take a couple throws to get accustomed to something. But me personally, I'm I'm 18 in soft. I'm 23 in steel. When I first started, I was 16 in soft and 26 34. in steel. So there's n there's no huge, there's no r right or wrong way to go. It's just a matter of making your stance Consistent, making sure you're following through and everything. I didn't say that's hilarious because I said the exact same thing and I ended up being in the movie. So um, that's all you need to say. Is you play that role. You're good. <laughs> you literally just defi or describe my character. <laughs> so what? What are? What are you? Uh, so I play. I play the color commentator in the movie uh, for the World Arts Championship for the scenes there. Nice. Um, so. I'm the former national champion who is giving the expertise advice. You're rocking the Bobby Drew jersey? I may or may not have uh, some interesting wardrobe choices. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny that. But it's going to be a lot of fun. My character gets to, gets to be fun. Well, good. I can't wait to see what everything's about when uh, everything you get to... Post. It'll be a lot of fun. I, I'm looking forward to it. it. If anyone has any suggestions on how to lose about 40 pounds in about a week and a half, you can let me know that um, so I can look more like the other actors in the movie. But other than that, I'm going to have a good time. My uh, co-commentator for the movie, uh, 
who plays the play-by-play -play commentator. He's actually he's been on our show Rob. before. Oh yeah. Uh, Rob, he actually did yeah. really well in the 188s. His he's an actor. He's not even a dart player. Yeah. <laughs> he, did, he did well. <laughs> 188. Wow. Yeah. I was almost there. You were. I was almost a little bit, a little short, but it's all right. 39 points difference. A yeah. little short. It's close. Yeah. A lot of people have said that to you. Away. You're a little yeah, short. A little short. I'm used to it. A, a big shot here. Put some pressure on Jeff here. Great wow. start. That is a huge dart. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say, and I, and I really like with his throw where that first dart's sitting in the treble, too. You want to put some pressure on at the right time. That's it. Now he's got the first out. Yeah, 57 will get a look here. 90 left. Hold left. Trip 18. Uh, 20 score, 90 left. There he goes. Hey, I like the question that he asked. The right one. And he goes with the 20s. I, I'm okay with that. Dan, you require 57. 17 for tops? Yep, that should be it. Or 19 oh. for double, double 19. 19. And he oh, drills well, it. it. I don't care what he does. He's hitting it. on the board again. Good dance. Different route, but it he has He has gone out in both games. It's been double 15 and double 19. So who has, whoever had those on your bingo board. All right. Give me Jeff <laughs> Scratch them all. Yep. All right. One more singles leg uh, before open we and double out. Open and double out. head to back to doubles after a short break. It'll be back to back cricket legs coming up next uh, after our short break. Lee but before Jones. that, Jeff and Eugene. Lee Jones watching along with us. Congratulations on your uh, win with uh, Trevor Sellers. Absolutely. Thanks for carrying him. Appreciate it. Yeah. We <laughs> so, the most underrated thing about Keegan that he does on the show is he knows how to work that thing. Yeah. Um, and we don't need to go out there. Jason doesn't. If you look at our first, like, I don't know, 80 shows, um, periodically, Jason would have to run out there and that's with the, the scoreboard. Uh, not anymore. He can just does everything perfectly. Look at this from Eugene. Took a little wow. break and just fires right back in. One fire in it, ain't My it? goodness. Huh. And I would... I'm These are the scores we expect. Yeah, and I'm going to definitely say that this one will favor Eugene, but Jeff does have the game to, to stick with him here. Oh, he all he start. has to do is get fired up. As soon as he gets out of his head about what happened in the past games, he'll be okay. 24. <laughs> See? <laughs> Part of our spiel is that we <laughs> tell the players not to cuss at the board, but... I did. I tried. Yeah, I know. But they'll hear you. It happens. It's okay. It's hard to. Michael Davy Ewing. I'll, I would have done the same exact thing. Yeah, Pac Man is uh, is quite the talented art player. Some of the best jerseys in the room. Bold of you to assume. Who, huh? doesn't, like, who doesn't like Pac Man? True. Bold of you to assume. Do you like Pac Man? Yes. See? But that there you doesn't go. matter. Why? <laughs> so it was a bold move, Cotton, but it paid off for him? <laughs> yeah. I mean, personally, I like everybody's jerseys in there. Everybody got, uh, they all have nice jerseys. They do. Yours is very nice as well, even though it's a different live stream company. Uh, or live stream. But that's fine. No big deal. I like tripping darts. Yeah, they they give me a jersey. I've already, uh, well, apparently Tim's already on that. <laughs> yeah, at least somebody's on it. Well, Eugene, 7 up at 260 left to go, averaging 80 so far in this leg. Not going to be able to leave a finish now, but it's about even. See what Jeff can do. Jeff going to give a huge shout out to uh, his wife, Misty, 25 years, Brittany, Tyler, Tyler's in the next room, and Abigail, the kids. Uh, and he's shouting out the 
novel or the movie The Outsiders? Leaves and Hell Shall. <laughs> Bar. Yeah, I know. I'm just messing <laughs> and, with you. And uh, Robin's from it. Village. Village yeah. Inn, which I believe they own, right? Or uh, family? No, but yeah, family. Family owned. Jet fee required Love it. 164. Here we go, 219 for both. We've gone the 20s, 18s for the bowl. Would have been I mean, he's got six darts for 164. Yep. Big dart. Incoming, and he hits it. That's a huge dart right there. Dean needs a ton here. You almost expect him to hit it, too. He needs to find it. Yeah, he tried to switch the 18s. Pony boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 83. Trip 17, double 16. You know, I can tell you the first line of that novel and the last line of that novel. Tops, tops. That what? From the darkness of the movie. Double I ten. One thing in my mind. Won't even ride home. Double ten. That was impressive, actually. Which one here? Oh, just movie. on the inside. My favorite movie. There you go. Eugene, you favorite novel. One hundred and thirty. Yeah. Novel and movie. Oh, there you go. Both, but the book, yes, hundred percent. Oh, bullseye. <laughs> and that's game shot. And he hits oh. the bullseye. Oh. And we the wrong it. Button. Yeah, we were a little behind here. A 130 <laughs> checkout. Boom goes the <laughs> Tim Neal <laughs> camera <laughs> shot. I pushed the wrong button. Okay. Yeah, you got to get it together. We needed to see that. Well, yeah. we were just a little Tim's going out of town again it. next week for some training. Thank and uh, we're going to head to a very short break. We're going to hear from our sponsor, A to Z Darts.com, and then we'll be right back with more action. Don't go anywhere in one minute's time. We'll be right back with more. Our April Dart of the Month features the 180 Emirate Series, which is on sale, providing an awesome discount for you guys. Lots of different barrel options in the range. You can choose from models 01 and 02, which come in rose gold and offer a straight and torpedo shape. Then models 03 and 04 come in black and also offer kind of a straight taper and torpedo shape. I like my darts tall, dark, and handsome, so let's test throw the model 03. Someone suggested a 57 a little while back. I'm gonna throw on my favorite custom dart bitch rose flights and we're going to attempt to check 57 remaining. Oops. Well, that is not how we thought we would do it, but we actually got her in there. Oops. Hold on a second. Let me see. Let me see. How do I show this here? Trouble 17 for a double three. Absolutely unintentional, but that is one way to do it. That's it for now, folks. You can head on over to a2zdarts.com, purchase the Dart of the Month in order to automatically enter our raffle. The Emirate series is really all about its unique texture. So instead of doing you know, precision milling that is really sharp to create aggressiveness, instead we have kind of a soft, sandpapery, rubbery sort of feel with a sparkling effect and that titanium nitride coating just creates kind of a stunning visual. So that is the 180 Emirate series. <music> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Sean Green, joined by the Philly legend, Jeff Neal. Um, <laughs> the legend grows as that camera shot from earlier is just wonderful. That's a two mark. It was about as good as that nine mark attempt from Jeff there just now. The crazy thing is that I was like, all right, bull. I'm going to hit the 20 for yep. double five. That's all right. Dummy. I've been on those cameras before. It's not easy. That's a two mark. Michael David Unison, the 200 stars for the 130 for Pac Man. Yeah, that's a big checkout from him. Steals the leg and uh, makes it six to two. They're only two legs away from victory. Mission Gander trying to make the most of his time here on the show. He's going to need to, him and his partner are going to need to pick it up here. As we are joined once again by Cheyenne. Cheyenne, so far, <laughs> how's it been going? It's been going good. Oh. Now it's going to be going better. Now better. Yeah, I can hear it now. <laughs> now. Yeah, I was already told to speak up, so I'm kind of working on it, guys. you got to cut me some slack. I'm not used to the microphone in my mouth like you guys. Well, <laughs> still not used near, to it. near the mouth. That's not, <laughs> that's not, uh, in. <coughs> It'd be hard to talk uh, the other way around. 
That's a three mark. It's a solid three mark there. Close. It's close to the mouth. All right. Jeff stepping up. See if he just closes the 18s here. He's going to move back oh. to the 20s with R2. I love that. Yep. That's a four mark. That's Smooth. Like if I'm him, I'm sorry. I'm like, just tell me what you want me to hit. Yep. Eugene, tell me what I need. Every partner I ever had, I, I opened up the, <laughs> the conversation with. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Uh, Way to go, Sean. <laughs> with hey, uh, you're gonna be in the backpack tonight, and I will just do whatever you tell me to do. That was a great flight. Hey, kiss right down into that triple eighteen. That's a four. Well, that's also part of his throw. Yep, that's gonna kiss down there. Seventy-two points scored now. Let me see him fist bump Eugene's elbow. Back at a twenty. Yep. Two more. Did the bare minimum there. Got the number closed that he was looking to close. Does not have <laughs> the coin lead. Oh, here it goes. Phil, you're not wrong. Yep, definitely uh, let you guys talk for a long time before turning on the sound after the match interview. <laughs> <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that was me. Uh, Oopsies. I'm pretty good on the mic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do a much not better so job. Not so much the camera. <laughs> yeah. A little behind. Yeah, we work on the cameras, you know. We all can't be perfect like Keegan is. He doesn't do anything wrong now. It's kind of annoying. We should all get fired. Hello, Tanya. He can do everything by himself. He can is the only one that gets paid, so technically he is the only one that <laughs> works for the company. That's a two mark. That Trevor works for us. Well, <laughs> he advertises for us. Really, we work for Trevor. Yes. <laughs> we just can't tell him that. And honestly, the best sponsors should work for their players. I see that a lot. We get a lot of work done uh, for us. Makes our jobs a lot easier. That's a two ball. Maybe. Nope. I, know I've, in there. I know I've given them a shout out already because I was so excited, but uh, the kids got to see their jerseys today for the first time for this year's uh, Dark Club jersey that I'm wearing tonight. Uh, did they get them or no? They did not get them yet. They'll get them on Thursday at Dark Club, but um, sweet. huge shout out to, uh, to Jen Mounts and and the and Magic Wear and A to Z Darts uh, for all of their great work uh, helping sponsor our dart club. We've had a lot of great sponsors in the past. Um, Magic Wear and A to Z go above and beyond to to really make sure that uh, the jerseys look really awesome for the kids and and nice and nice and uh, great relationship. Have you ever thought of having the kids like draw up a design on a for a jersey and then send it in and like have them vote which one's the best and then send it in for yeah for that would be a good jersey. idea I like that that is a good idea um, we have to have certain aspects of the jersey that are uniform with the Westfield right. school system color system um, like, like they, they yeah, should like know the color and green and, and shamrock yeah. and all that but like within those parameters they can all design for sure no I'd love I'd love That'd to see cool. that that would be really cool and then send it in and have Jen do her thing to it to enhance it I think that'd be awesome. We are, uh, well, we now we have a new idea for next year. There you <laughs> go. Put it on the list. Like the first week, like, <coughs> hand out t-shirt laid. What, how do you want the jersey to look? Design the jersey and have a, a have the kids vote on it. And then I have to buy white t-shirts, too, for this Or instead, of having, them, instead of having them vote on it, just make all of them, like, create their own jersey. Like, the little drawing. See, like a front and back. That's, that's, a, that's a hard. Yeah, they, they definitely all can. Yeah. They all have to be the same. Production-wise, that'd be mm, difficult. Right, right. We can't give them everything they want. Spoiling mm. little brat. <laughs> I do oh. miss the big tournament at the end. Great first start from Jeff. Working on that bulls. Gonna stay there. That's a Dragged over, <laughs> but got three of them. See if Jeff goes right at this. He should. They've been aggressive. No reason not to. Your sister's in the chat. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, yeah. What's up, Jen? That's a one mark. You had another relationship just by seeing your butt head. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> That's either from Janice or nah, sister. <laughs> uh, Janice called me butthead since she was like three. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I, that's the nickname that she's ever always called me. It's like how I use a little Philly accent when I said it to you. You're welcome. <laughs> yep, she actually shot on my dad's team on Wednesdays that won the championship. Nice. Her and her boyfriend were part of the team and... 
They actually got a big write up in the local newspaper. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. You shout out to the the real Philly legends. Yeah, I would say my dad's more of a <laughs> legend than me. That's not what you, that's not what you say off air. So that's weird that you say it on air. Oh, we can't be here. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eugene's doing something different because he has to. He got the point lead back and then went at at the bull. And now that's completely blocked, but he does point again on the twenties. I said I thought he was going back. Figured it was. Yeah, it makes sense there. Or maybe just up to the twenties would have made just as much sense. Yeah, for a higher number. Actually, that would have made more sense because then he would have had an extra bull bullseye on it. One sixty eight is more than one sixty two. But never mind, I'm wrong. Nice. Big three bulls nice again. Hit. They're right takes, in this leg now. Takes the point lead, applies pressure to Jeff. If Jeff stumbles here. Only well, you're gonna need a five mark. Needs a uh oh, there it is. So the opportunity. five marks needed here for Dan to steal this leg and make it six to three. Two point lead. Two twenties, three seventeens. This is huge with the capital Y. Huge. One more of those and triple seventeen. There you uh -oh. go. Got the easy part done. Triple. Uh, that's just not a good look at it. Uh, how about bottom of the board, Cam? Does it work? Yep. Hey, hey, look at that. Triple seventeen for the win of the leg. What a steal this would be. He's he's taking out the last two the two legs that they've won. I think he's taking too much time here. Oh. It wasn't a bad dart. No, it was still right on there. But I feel like every time I hesitate and take too long, and <laughs> it yeah. always ends in disaster for me. Yeah, and Eugene's just going to say all this oh. nonsense <laughs> over with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard someone uh, yell a duck call out there the drills are huge after the first months. treble 17. <laughs> but uh, whoever said it, we felt that in our souls, I'm telling you what. Yeah, Eugene just did Eugene stuff there, getting the 102 extra points. That's a three mark. Man, again. Nice hit. <laughs> three bulls. Just keeping the pressure on. Oh, boy. He should go 17 here. Yes, he should. Yeah. That's, That's a, a good dart. All right, Dan, again, another opportunity to steal here. We just need one bull, bull or two. Two? Two. Good math, Jason. No, one. Well, two here. Double. <coughs> what? I, I call it 25 and bull. I don't call it. Well, that's fair. But there's single bull and double bull in cricket. I know. But I know what you're saying. I say the same thing in steel tip most of the time. But not when it's well, not when they're playing cricket. Yeah, I'm not too bright. Well, I don't know how many people accuse you of that. Us lefties. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene needs one more. That's a one mark. And I doesn't get it. Uh oh. Huge opportunity here. Jeff has the same He's look, and Jeff's been pegging that double bowl. Or bullseye, as Tim would say. Bullseye. Nope. Still needs the double. Gets the yes. double. Seventeens. <laughs> He's sitting at three twelve right now. Does he shoot the double seventeen? Oh man, why not? I guarantee it. He's a double shooter. I don't know. In cricket. I mean, yeah, he was very good at doubles. He oh, hits it! Big go. go from Jeff! Big shot. Told you. <laughs> to Jeff be a dad. You can tell even Keegan was excited about that one. What a big comeback of the leg. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? 
the oh, ancillary stuff up. in the background. Oh. Ah, who cares? It's 9.35, Tim. Yeah. Kids are to bed. Wait, what time do your kids go to bed? Now. My kids are asleep, so we're good. <laughs> Tim? Oh, yeah, you're probably <laughs> <didn't>. <laughs> They're up. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely up. Maybe midnight. <laughs> two. That's a two ball. If they don't nice. bother you, then they can stay up, right? Yep. Those are the rules. I'm definitely in bed before them. <laughs> That's a two mark. Sean Calhoun, big dart, hand solo number two. <coughs> I don't know. Big old five mark there. Ryan, that is Keegan. Uh, he's been our talker, our rep board referee for, um, well, since show 82, which um, shot, is yeah. kind of, again, shocking that it took us 82 shows to put Keegan on the show. Um, but, but yeah, him up. he is he is definitely <laughs> our... Um, he, he's our ace in the hole. Yeah. Tracy Wright is watching. Tracy Wright, Logan Sport. Tracy! Hope you're doing well. If you guys are just joining us here at a 6 to 3, Jeff and Eugene over Jeff and Dan. Nice. And <laughs> Jeff and Dan are have the momentum going their direction after they just stole that last cricket leg. Trying to do the same thing here. Eugene has been That's just a... Five. a Staple of consistency. Yeah. So I think he struggled all with the bullseyes in the last cricket. Uh, he missed one bull, and and that's what uh what did it. Big double seventeen at the end of that one. Ryan Watson for Jeff's last win, two hundred stars. Thank you. Big darts. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, got it. Charming Chewy darts. Uh, he is mm. very East Coast. He sounds about, like, think of, like, the most East Coast accent you possibly can. That is Ryan. Or, <laughs> um, yeah, that's Ryan's, the way he speaks. It's amazing. So he types like he speaks. <laughs> He'll be up a little bit. That's a two Go some high, high tower with the hashtag Godsum. One of those uh, happy little accents that occurs on the CSC Challenger Series <laughs> is when I say something that annoys Will, and so I just keep repeating it over and over <laughs> again until it becomes a catchphrase. Like hit, like how we all got our nicknames? And like how Boom Goes Dynamite became a thing. Yep. No, Come you on. love going back to Philly and being yeah. known as the Philly yeah, legend. Love it. <laughs> 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 if you don't think they don't give them a whole bunch of crap for that, that's, that's the whole reason I do it. And then let's be honest, Jason really is the man, the myth, the legend. That's a one mark. He embodies that nickname. At least the myth part. <coughs> Got 3-2 playing 3-2 in this leg. Sarah, hope you're doing well. There's our... You can see how many of our... Travis and viewers, Sarah in. Yeah. View, view everything together. And now are friends with each other in the chat. I love those th types of situations like Sarah, Paul, Justin... See them, Travis, Sarah's husband, they're always here every single time, no matter what stream I'm doing for any show I'm doing, they're they're in the chat, and it's awesome to see. So thanks, guys, for all your support. Paul's in every stream. Every everywhere. stream. It, it's, it's honestly impressive. Paul could probably start writing a blog for every single stream that happens throughout the week. And people Concord. would probably watch it or well, like read it. When I was in Concord, I, I was on a ladder reaching over for cables. I put my phone down for a second, that and his stream was on. First, Paul, what's up, Tim? How's yep. it going? I'm yep. like, I can't communicate. I'm like, that's a two mark. I wouldn't call it an addiction. I would call it great support system. Passion. That's 
Jason is really itching to get on the mic <laughs> as he <laughs> screams from the other room. It's a great leg of darts, uh, which is telling us to shut Talk up and start foc- focusing on the darts, which is fair, but... When he dropped the headset. <laughs> <laughs> he broke it. Cheyenne, you're still here? Yeah, surprisingly. I'm watching. I'm just trying to keep up. With whom? <laughs> Their match. Matches. That's a warm up. All right, so the score is six to three. Cheyenne, how does this finish? What's the final score prediction for you? Eight. At this point. <laughs> I was going to say uh, that. Yeah. Um. Do you think uh, Jeff and Dan have a comeback in them? Uh, you picked them originally. That's why I'm asking yeah. this question. <coughs> I believe you had it at an 8-6 score line. I think that's what we made up for you at the end. Yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully they can come back. Um, they're not down by much. I mean, granted. I mean, they're right there. Yeah, they're battling it, it, really well. It's close. We'll, I mean, we'll have to see. Jason right said now, earlier on the mic that he thought a comeback was coming. Uh, I believe it. Tim? I'm posting on my 8-4 score, right? I'm right on pace. You're pretty close yeah, to on pace, yeah. Four. We'll see. Walmart. Yeah, he threw at the 18s. That was an oopsie dart. He meant the to throw that at the 20. And then his, his <laughs> didn't think for a second. Uh, Keith asking, uh, do Will and Nick do anything like this in their hometowns for the local darters in their area? Well, so... It's a great question. Nick absolutely um, supports the local community around him. It's what he is in and stuff like that. So uh, he'll stream some local stuff. But um, for Will in Wichita, it's just not a really big dark community. It, he's actually kind of a weird outlier in that community. So uh, he'd have to travel a couple hours. Um, but he's traveling every single week to support as many people around the world with darts and uh, what he is oh, doing cannot cool. be understated as as uh, helping us get on the map He's with also European an darts. Dart in his own right. He is a very good dart player as well. Um, he wins tournaments that he goes and plays in, so um, in open events. Um, so yeah, they're absolutely fantastic in their own community, but uh, the opportunity is definitely more there for yep, for Nick to to support in Central Florida than than for Will to support out in Wichita. Jeff shooting the nice double. Hit. And then, of course, for us, we are um, so blessed to to have all of the giant dark community that we have uh, surrounding us that supports us and supports what we do, um, and is kind of a teammate of ours in 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 this whole process. And, and it's not just India; it's Ohio, yep. it's North and I mean Michigan again, Michigan. Yeah, it it always surprises us from Kentucky. five and a half hours to uh, longer how how far people. Uh, have made trips on a Tuesday to to play on our show, and, it a- and let's those are the ones that mean the world to us. Uh, they're not getting paid to do yep, it; they're not at all because they love the sport. There's no money in the prize pool except for a five dollar trophy, and uh, that will be and something that never never will change with us. Um, I mean, unless you know we get sponsored by like DraftKings, so. um, then then we can guess. I guess we can give the players some money because we're gonna have something to give away. Yeah. Um, but honestly, it, it's. It's a blessing to have the community around us and supporting us, and the talent level of the community around us is uh, is very unique that we're able to, to put up cool. put on this type yeah. of of thing. So we're happy to do it. And, and like we have the entire state of India, yeah, west and Terre Haute, south and Timor. And mm-hmm. We're up right north now. I mean, Lafayette. we literally are going from top to bottom of Indiana tonight on the show. Eugene lives in the. Uh, the in the Vincent's area, which is the bottom uh, west mm, side, yep, southern west, and then of course western. Michigan is is north eastish. But look at this from Eugene. Mm. Got to love the uh, the old trip for Singh there on the twenties, behind in points. That's right. Why couldn't I hit that the first time? This is very close to being six to four. If this just follows the status quo for Dan and Jeff, we saw them hit all of the bulls on the last leg, so. Wouldn't put it past him here.
Well, we appreciate the kind words there, Paul. Some of us do a good job with the show. Cool. It's not me. <laughs> it's honestly Jason. If it wasn't for Jason, none of this. He's he does all he's talked th- he's talked for five minutes tonight. But I'm telling you, all the work that he is he puts in every single week. This is his house, um, where we host every week. It's uh, he's the one who resets everything. Um, he's the one who sets up all the matches. We've tried to do that before with like. He'll give us one match to do and a month's time to do it, and we're always, like, last-seconding, being like, uh, we're not really sure if we can get this done, Jason. I'm, I had, like, six people drop out the last week. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, I pick all the wrong people. So he definitely has the toughest job on the show. Um, well, no matter what we actually out? say on <laughs> No matter what we say live. They dropped out. They're like, oh, I'll play. And they're like, oh, I can't. Oh, I, play. Oh, I, can't. I, feel, I feel like it was things, like, a, like an honor, like a privilege to be asked, That's you know? Normal. Like I was I'm like not saying that they did it for well, any ill reason. Right, it was but just it's still, like, out. when I was asked, I was like, oh, I'm clearing my schedule. <coughs> well, we appreciate that, Keith. Yeah, Jason, Tim, and I are uh, partners in this endeavor that we, we just really enjoy this. This is, uh, no matter what I do outside of uh, the Indie Dark community, this is, this is always going to be my ultimate passion here. Yes, I'm just a... Uh, Dart fan from Indiana, and not a very good darter. I am a level five state champion though. Back in 2015, that's almost good been time. 10 years. 2015. I don't, don't want to. What were you like? Eight. How old were you at that point? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> fourteen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you asked. Great. Awesome. Two mark. Gets a two mark out of it. But Jeff now, one more needed this to make, this to make it six to four. And yeah, Jeff on Bulls has been uh, almost. Not even needing to shoot it. I didn't want to jinx it beforehand. <laughs> six to four score line. The comeback is definitely on. They're within two, which is within two of uh, what Jeff and Eugene need to win. So they're back at that balancing point of the John Part uh, rules of a match, which you don't want to be down more and legs than your opponent has to go to win the leg or win the match. It's a one. Mike, we have that in common. It's wonderful. Paul, I know you're 98 years old. That's not. We still appreciate all your support. <laughs> Just kidding, Paul. You're spry for an old fella. Yeah, you look way younger than you are. No, you want <laughs> and Ron, I appreciate that. Uh, I do it all the time. It just depends on the evening. Very inconsistent. It's always been the case. And because I don't play very much at all anymore, because I'm talking all the time now. Um, the consistency, or the inconsistency just c- kind of grows. Mm. Becomes more and more frustrating. <laughs> Man, I love just listening to some of their own commentary. Yep, he ain't wrong. Jeff saying that ain't gonna cut it there. That was cold. I remember that. <laughs> cookies go out. <laughs> That's fair, Paul. Well deserved. Wait, wait, what cookies? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I was today years old, and I noticed that that chair squeaked, Tim. Which one? The one that you're sitting in, squeaking <laughs> as it Does moves it? back and forth. Is it mine? No, I think I think it's mine. Oh, is it? I think it has been mine. <laughs> Listen, definitely mine. Yeah, it's Jeff's. Good call. Yeah, it's not yours. Mm. Add it to Jason's list of fixes. <laughs> this is this is no offense to Tim or you, but I feel like weight wise, one of the one of you two used to can make the chair squeak a little bit more than the other. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a l- I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's Tim. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Jesus. That's why I just don't move at all. I, I know get that. it. I'm fat. <laughs> just sit still. You're just husky. I can't. That's something I've never been able to do in my whole life. You are the only D1 college ax- athlete around in the yeah. in the group. So who else played Division One soccer? When? Eighty five. I was one years old. When Jason played Division One soccer, <laughs> you know that means Jason could be my father, age-wise. Three. 
<laughs> so I call him Dad. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Did you see that? The three? I got a three on the board. Listen, it happens. And yep, I've done it. I've hit a two before, <laughs> so I don't want to hear that at all. Look at that. <laughs> that that's, a good, that's a perfect first dart. I don't know about that hanger there on dart two, if he's going to stay there. I wouldn't. Go high. Oh, that's easy for you to say. Mm. Hit triple. A cleavy right. dart. He threw the cleavy <laughs> for the 116. That's how you got to do it right there. And now the momentum heavily, heavily favoring. Uh, and this is against the throw of 96. Dan and Jeff. Sarah saying, I would like to make it there, but I've never played Steel Tip before. You're welcome to the club, because there's a lot of players. Yeah, there's a million people that's never played Steel yeah. before. Actually, didn't Jeff say that tonight, Dixon? When you came here the first time, you didn't. You never played Steel before, right? No. Yep. Nope. That was my first time, so I knew I had to warm up. <laughs> I knew I didn't want to be in trouble, but I thought I handled myself pretty well anyway. Oh, you shot fantastic. It's... Yep, at the 171, I mentioned that. She also had three uh, trip 16s. Yep. She reminded me of that one when she was here. Um, we call that a successful evening no matter what the score line was. Do you remember what the final score was? No, I mean, I just know I lost. <laughs> That's all I got. So but last night decider good. for sure. I, was, I did not go home upset or anything because I shot good that night. So that's all that mattered. Adam James McGuire, 500 stars. Thank you, Adam. Like Will heard his name and he 107. <laughs> Who's talking smack? Will. Just give me the spotlight once, bro. Just for once. Uh, actually, Will will be at the Cross Border Dart Challenge. He's in the production side of things with us this weekend, and Sweet. I could not be happier. Um, yeah, the the team that we're assembling for this weekend is is a A plus uh, squad. Um, so I'm telling you, the production's gonna if the if we have the final say and control over the production of uh, this weekend. That's live and Why you uh, don't go that stream. Way? It's uh, it's going to be phenomenal. 96 left. Triple 20, at least 36. Ooh, Triple bull. Bull. 46 left. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I don't care. You hit the bowl. <laughs> They're making a Jeff needs you need a double out joke. Might be too soon for that, but. You require well, Paul, we'll make sure they remember that in June. We'll get you over the summer. All right, 46 left. Ryan, what are you doing on this? There's a right answer, by the way. Uh, 16 double 15. All right, Tim? 610 wire. Thank you. Uh, 39 left, double 38. 19. 38 left. 38 left, yeah. Double, double 19. 19. I combined them. Yeah, you did. Man, there was there was no worse answer than what you said. <laughs> just kidding. Right. <laughs> I mean, uh, you, I feel like you guys just keep setting me up for failure for no, everything you ask. I'm asking you questions like, oh. to to see. Right. How right. It goes. Mm -hmm. Leaves. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Nineteen. Here's the good news: is that you can hit what you're trying to shoot. I can't. So, um, I've yet to hit a double on our show. And that's actually a true statement. I've never hit a double on the season. Forty-one. I don't want to talk about it. All right, 19's a bit awkward. Three for double eight. See if he goes that route. Stay away from the 19. 11 double four. I like the bailout plan if you hit a single 17. 11 works. Double four. This to make it six to five. And then the comeback will really be on. Uh, Sean, yeah, Jules is playing for uh, the United States. I don't know if that's the good guys or not. I'm going to guess probably so. Double two, and he hits it. Nice. Big darts there from Jeff and Dan, and it is now anyone's ball game at six to five. There goes my prediction. Yep. Jason said something in the other room. I'm not sure what he said, but he called it. On. They're he coming back. It. You weren't supposed right. to say it out loud. It was to <laughs> he always calls it. This time it's Jeff B that throws first. All the best. Game on. Game on. All right. Good job kicking in, Sean. 
Uh, <laughs> I just, yeah, I just said good job to myself. Uh, Jolin, send us 500 stars. If you want to feel good about yourself, just give yourself a compliment on air. Try it. No. Right. I guess not. <laughs> good talk. See you out there. Yep. <laughs> no. All right. Well, Joe Lynn been killing it, playing in a lot of the uh, pro mat, uh, remote double in, double out leagues. Yeah, he's uh, he'll be here next week. Sweet. Compliments of uh, Jason just saying that to us. Uh, is he the guest host, Jason? Do we know a guest host? Ricky Fox. Oh. <laughs> Trips, we're not having one. All right. So you know how you, you and Sean so up there? <sighs> <laughs> All right, fine. I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> wow. No matter what I do on this nine dart count up, I'm I'm taking the score and I'll and I'll show it live. So you can't. So we can't even. You just gotta throw better than your eighty nine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so easy, <laughs> Cheyenne. I'm what? That I sounds so simple. I'm not proud. So simple. Um, I was so proud of your 149, especially Thank after you. you beat my 89 after t- after uh, two rounds. But um, <laughs> it sounds easy until. So I think live's just the way I got to do it. <laughs> but it is triples next week, I guess, because. Uh, Jason gets on nice. big darts. Uh, Jason likes to get on like weird habits where he likes a certain type of uh, style of show and he just keeps repeating it over and over again until he gets burned out on it. That's triples right now, guys. Uh, so if you want to play triples on the siege, you can get involved immediately because uh, well, Jason's going to get sick of it. His, theor- his theory behind it actually makes sense. Oh, I love it. There's a ton of people in the same like bracket and to try to get them all in. I love it. And, I and love it trips. Works out I think it's a very good idea. I especially love it at a place like TOC. So, um, we'll see. That's all there is there, isn't it? Did yeah. they change it? Yeah, they changed it all, all triples. Uh, so, I just wanted to put my positive spe- spin on 36. it again. Zing. Well, I don't have to play it, so I don't really care. Um, but honestly, I would like triples for for the, all the events. If you know ahead of time what you're going into, yeah. you know what you're going into. If you think you play just on triples the struggle poor bus, man. poorly, uh, you don't. You just think that you do. Um, you play the same cards. Yeah, this is definitely. Uh, and Eugene's starting to struggle to hold to hold Jeff right now. If that makes a little sense to you. He needs a big, at least a 140 here to keep him close. It was five to two. And then it was six to two. And now it is six five. So three legs on the spin for Jeff. Dan and Jeff. Jeff Brothers is on fire. Yes, he has. Especially on when it's the crucial out show. And Dan's been shooting very well too. He's been consistent. He's been the most consistent out of all three all four four players. Mm. With the way Eugene's been struggling recently, I would I would agree with that. Jerry, last couple legs. Jerry Lane, you tuning in? Mm. Debbie Napier tuning in. Leaves 152, so they're on a finish. Jeffrey needs to hit a 180 here to leave a finish. Jeff Cal Morgan, let's go, Dan. 200 mm-hmm. stars. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sure I butchered that last name. He is starting to get inside Apology. his own head oh, he's majorly. Beating, yeah, he's beating himself up. If he, he might want to switch to the 19s, because that no, looked pretty good. but if he good. threw all three darts away, he threw that third dart, he'd be more consistent. He'd be fine. Don't put it past Jeff to hit this. Oh. That's unlucky on dart 137. one. 37. Love it. 87. 77 left, sorry. 58 oh, left. It. He's a little mm-hmm. two-dart combination there. Eugene, big round needed. And that's the understatement of the year. That's the more, more like 85, 85 on the last dart. Bad kiss yeah. on the third. Dan, you require 58. 18 for tops. To keep the momentum, tie up the four line. Does he go 20 double 19? 
You know, I'm no. He, he missed it high last time. Yeah, there you go. Tops. Ryan, does he hit this? No. Nope. What about this one? Call it before he throws it this time. No. All right. That's okay because they'll they'll be back. If he does not hit this double ten, I think he does hit this. See, everybody's been having this struggle with the fifteen and the double ten. Okay, that's fair. Tim, as a lefty, is that your favorite number? Double ten. Uh, yep. Yeah, I prefer to ten. That's my out shot preference. Thirty-five. I'd rather shoot the ten than the sixteen. Okay. Jeff B requires mm. twenty. There you go. It's a left-handed thing. So yeah. double ten for Jeff. Let's try and walk Come it on. in. Walked it in too far. Double five. And you got it. You don't want to play around with this too much. That's fine. Good That's boss. better than hitting a single five. <laughs> yeah. Especially with Eugene back on 176. But some pressure can be added here. It's not going to be as much as Eugene wanted now. 40. Dan, you require 20. Do we have a tie score? I think that's I just noticed. <laughs> is Dan left eye dominant? Looks like yeah. where he holds his dart, right? Yeah. Now he's dead between his yeah. uh, toes. All right, never mind. Oh, it no, when he kisses light. it inside. That is music to Eugene and Jeffrey's Jeff ears. D, you require 136. Because it'll be cleanup du duty wow. on aisle five. Oh, oh. I missed my go. <laughs> Got one of those. Oh. oh. Trip 17 leaves double 10. Trip 13 leaves double 16. Uh, 65 scored, 71 left. And that's why we're weird. Because we both just called out the two best combinations for how to leave <laughs> <laughs> the right finishes. Jeff, you require Let's right. see, I'm so used to soft hit. One so like. Yeah, I, I can do it's the just weird. double yep. stuff, but one for double two, like it. He's already hit this. Oh, it's gonna be Madhouse. I oh. like that he was aggressive with it, but now Eugene, sixty-eight to kill all the momentum and make it seven to five. This would be heartbreaking. He's should get one dart at it still. It will be one dart at double mm -hmm. sixteen. And he nice. hits the double 16. It's Eugene makes it 7-5. to five. Wow, 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 wow. We wow. The head. They stopped <laughs> the bleeding. Oh, they didn't just stop the bleeding. They, they bandaged that sucker right on up. Automatically, <laughs> that, that, means that goes from... And Eugene only need to win one more yep. leg in order to win the match. But from anyone's ball game to, like, a 90% chance. In the third kind of that jump leg, there. Eugene and Eugene starts. First. All the best. Game on. 90% chance, yep. And the momentum now will swing heavily the other direction with just how many darts they missed at that double. Yeah. For Jeff and Dan. It's hard to forget that. However, Eugene's both of them are experienced dart players, so where they essentially can't. Yeah, Eugene's going to be upset at his start, man. Hey, he doubles in. Well, hey, listen. At least he got in on that. Yep. <laughs> Instead of going the two rounds before. That's right. He's starting to walk a little bit, trying to help the, the dart along, and sometimes that happens when you're not used to long format. Nice. That's a huge round. Jeffrey's back That's in this bad good. boy. Yeah, there he is. That might be more points than he scored all last leg. <laughs> And it's a good time for it. First start's not going to really help Dan with the treble 20. Kiss Especially when it kissed him the treble 12. Yeah. <laughs> like I didn't know what I was talking about while knowing what I was talking about. 36. 
Hey, real quick, guys, don't forget, all month long, A to Z Darts is featuring the Emirate Dart Series from 180, plus a special raffle once again. Purchase the Dart of the Month and automatically get entered into a raffle to win a set of 180 Magic Matt Mullen Darts. The raffle ends May 1st, and the winner will get their choice of soft tip, 19 grams or still tip 23 grams. Good luck. A to Z Darts is also having an exclusive sale with discounts on the All Hero Imperial Diamond Darts that you won't want to miss. While you're at it, check out the Shot AI launch and see how the worlds of AI and darts collide. Or browse the Target April drop with the new K-Flex and Standard Number 2. You can also read their blog all about upgrading your dart shafts from plastic to more durable materials. Lastly, and most importantly, it is Autism Awareness Month. Show your support by shopping A to Z exclusive Autism Awareness Dart Flights. Just head on over to their website for all of your darting needs. 13. And we appreciate them supporting Autism Awareness. Again, that's near and dear to my heart, for sure. And uh, the dart community, the dart family um, that I were mainly a part of. But huge shout out to my daughter, So Uniquely amazing. She'll be sleeping. She's sleeping? I pray for the sanity of uh, my wife and mother-in-law that she is. Yeah. Pray so for the sanity. Fingers crossed. Pray for the sanity there. <laughs> uh, she most likely is, though. Huge it's it's the little one that I'm really Boy. worried about, the two the two year old. We gotta give a huge shout out to Jason's way better half, Michelle. Yes. Awesome seeds light up. Yeah. Look, How cool is I that? I would like to, to say the, the stickers, the stickers, the, the magnets. refrigerator magnets, amazing. Oh, love it. Mac is killing it. Thank you for all the swag. I'm taking a bunch of little goodies helmets. Yeah, we know. <laughs> it's only fair. <laughs> taking it all. Taking, home. stealing, yeah. whatever no. you want to say. Um, Jason said. No. Take whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, it was he his gave ball. me permission. Uh, oh. 85. I thought he was going to get his last one in there. It looked good. With the setup of the second dart, you're absolutely yeah. right. It looked, it looked uh, tasty to add the third. Go back to the 19, Jeff. Yeah, I like how you switched there <laughs> thinking that he was just going <laughs> to listen to you. He did not, Ooh. and he yeah, left he a, a bogey. bogey, and that might be a tough bogey. One seventy-seven. Just hit one eighty. Yep, that was Jeff's advice for Dan. Hit a one eighty, and he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home. There's no reason to leave fifty for any reason or purpose with one dart versus forty-seven. Yep. Six. Leaves a finish, though. Yep. They will have the first look at a checkout. That's when exactly what Jeff's saying right there. When people ask about out shots, I always say if it ends in zero, one, four, seven, you 32. can take it out. Yep. So yeah. Well, keep I mean, those numbers Jeff in mind. That's like what I do. I strategize in my head uh, with soft tip, and if I see a, uh, a one, I automatically go for triple 17. See? That's just. And that's how that's I do it. I always go by the last number. What the last number is, what I can break it down to. 87, 87 left. left. Triple 17. 97. 87. That was a good look at it. Yes, it was. So 131 Jeff, here. Triple 17 for tops, tops. That would be sweet. He's going 19. Oh, I like it. 128. Shoot the triple 20. Yep. Stay right there. No reason to switch. I might switch. Maybe. All right, that'll work. Yeah, I, I would have shot the 18. Dan, you require would you? Because a four leaves an out. Five screws you. That's fair. I mean, no matter what, they have to dodge Dan hitting the 70. Yeah. Is he 18 or 10? We're going to find out. I think he's 18. I might go 20. You should just keep guessing all mm -hmm. the numbers. Mm -hmm. There's only three to go up. What about the one? You didn't think about that one, did you? Hmm. I'm sure he didn't either. 19 for bull? Not going to happen. 62 left. Triple 10? Yep. Or triple 14 if you're the double 10 guy. Eight scored, 62 left. I like how you always try to leave yourself the double 10 is what you think about. That's his automatic go-to. Yeah. I've heard him say it like well, no, I mean four drives now. Th those are the options. Well, right. Like we get it. You're left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't no, make you special. Not everybody okay. gets to be the special person to be <laughs> left-handed, but I That's think I'm awesome. pretty special to be right-handed. So Jason and I would say we're special. 88. Oh, you guys uh, are definitely he's special. He's special. But 
Not Eight because you're left-handed. 85. No. <laughs> Took 15 for tops. <laughs> oh, tops. my gosh. Oh. For the match. For the match. <laughs> Eugene has done this all night long, oh. and he's just going to fall a little short here. Will he be yeah. back? Dang. Tori Gilstrap tuning in. What's up, Tori? Hey, Tor. Got out your draw for Saturday. This is where you go at the 10-6 wire again. Reason why you do that, we'll talk about later. Double, f- double 14. And, uh, 17 left. Uh, so you shoot at the middle wire there between the 6 and the 10. The reason why is because you hit the 10, you leave 32. You hit the 6, you leave 36. 17. Those are both very clean double looks. You shoot the 1 right here, right? You leave 16, yes. anything on the side. And if busts. you bust it, whatever. You can do that too. You leave 32. 10, but not ideal. <laughs> Jeff's not happy about it. Let's put it that way. All right, double 10. Jeff this is for the win. This would be huge for Jeff right here. Yeah, it would. Went from nerves to he said his mom was. He said his mom was telling everybody about uh, Mac Humbuck. I love that it. He's on TV and everything. And I said, well, take it all in. Did you Daddy think that's too much? And I told him no. Mom, you're right. If you have it on YouTube on your... Smart I hope she's watching. There you go. And the whole family for it. Uh, Tori asked which one, the Saturday draw. Your, sa- your Saturday morning draw? Sign up at 11, start 1230? Dan, Dan needs double five here to keep them alive. They make it 7 6. And he hits it oh. first start. That's is that out. high? That's out. No way. That's out. That is heartbreaking. He's sitting on the wire. Because uh. the way his dart lays, too, that's trouble. And that's what I mean. One will leave double two. To be fair, I thought he hit a two <laughs> on the first. It looks so no. good. And now Eugene. For the match. Eugene yeah, it's just been an absolute killer. 20. You give Eugene three darts a double, he's going to hit it most of the time. Taking his time here. I don't know if I like that from him, but I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> I it love is. it from him. Hits it first dart. Match. Pac-Man has really showed up. Eugene. He showed up all night long. The law in the middle there allowed for the comeback attempt. But 8-5, to five, the final scoreline prediction. I missed it by one leg. Pretty sure that's Ron not Thompson got either. it all correct. He, <laughs> Ron Thompson chimed in. Great darts. Great darts there from both players. And looks like the lights are already off. Yes, Tori, the one you, you run. Well, Cheyenne, I got great news. That'll do it for us. We're going to yeah. step off the mics. Y'alls are done. Uh, we're going to bring in our winners, Eugene and Jeff, or shall we say Jeff and Jeff, as they'll be interviewed by Tim here. Um, make sure you can ask Eugene about his uh, plans this season for the CDC and all that good stuff. And uh, I'm excited to hear about Jeff's run from nerves to, to being pretty nerveless there at the end. Yep. Uh, but, Tim, take it away. Thanks so much, Cheyenne, for being here. It was an absolute pleasure. You were wonderful, as always. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you. All right. So while these guys are getting ready to come over and have a conversation with me, uh, available now over at magicware.com, our V our cert the Siege V three jersey, which is the red, white, and blue to the point streaming with its cricket time on the neck. And our V two jersey is the red knight siege. We also have our V one which is blue. And Jason's coaching people on how to walk around the house. Also, we're going to look at the cross-border bracket coming up this weekend over in Michigan City, Indiana. This is the CDC Cross-Border Darts Challenge. You have uh, basically USA versus Canada. you got the Alex Spellman is the U.S. one seed, and Dave Cameron is the Canadian one seed. So make sure you tune in to pdc.tv or on YouTube at uh, the Championship Darts Corporation. Uh, it'll also be streamed live on Facebook, I believe. So, with that being said, we are going to be joined by the winners, gentlemen. Congratulations! What a match! Congratulations! Got a little hiccup in the middle. Yep. Do me a favor, just pull that a little bit closer to your lip so everyone can hear you, and I'll turn you up a little bit. There you go. So, yeah. how'd it feel out there? It wasn't as bad as I figured it would be. Honestly, I didn't feel that bad Did all night. Were the nerves getting to you at all? or Not as 
that is normal. I mean, I, I would normally expect uh, a lot of anxiety and nerve issues, but I started out a little rocky and I got comfortable. And did you have a couple of rounds where you're like really frustrated with yourself personally? Well, or? no, not really. I mean, I just wasn't hitting, and I was yeah. okay with that. But you know, it's okay. I felt better here than most places, honestly. Sweet. Well, we're, we're so. glad we can make you feel better. Yeah, uh, Eugene, you've had a a long weekend. You yeah. uh, you've been on the road a lot. You you went to the Dart Players Indiana yes. Saturday Sunday and then you're coming yes. here. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you how for having me. How does that travel affect your darts at all? If it does at all. Anymore, not really. It doesn't really affect me a lot. Uh it's just getting back into the still tip because I I went done soft tip state and now I'm getting back into the still tip part of it. So, I think this weekend helped me. But then, like, towards the middle, we fell off a little bit. I started getting hot, but then I cooled back down, like, yeah. sweating-wise. Yeah. Temperature-wise. And then the last two games, I started cooling back down and getting more comfortable again. But now, it, a lot of people don't re- know that there was, a, there was a big break where you, you started doing a lot of stuff in the backside of darts where you weren't really playing as much, but you were running tournaments and assisting tournaments. Yes. That transition back to being a dart player was that difficult for you at all? No, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I was still playing in the back of the scenes, but not as much out in public, but like statewide. Like the big tournaments, you, yeah. you were, you were, you were assisting, but you weren't yes, really playing. Right. What, what I was, but trying to allude to. Not really, because like, like back home, I was still practicing, and I still had the stroke. It was a time where I was trying to transition trying to figure out what i wanted to do if i wanted to travel a lot still and then uh my good friend jason watt he's like hey come try still tip with me you know yep. and i got into still tip and so i i enjoy still tip did you and jason did because i know jason took a took a hiatus as well. yes he did did you both get back into it around the same time where you were going to go all into it together or was it one goes and then convince the other to come well i i mean he got back into it but he he's not big on soft tip right so he's more on a still tip. So he wanted to do the traveling and stuff, and then he got, hey, hey, start traveling, start doing the still tip side of it, you know, instead of soft tip, because I've had, what, 17 years, I think, in on, on the soft tip side. So it was getting a little, not really boring, just like re- repetition and traveling, a lot of traveling for that, because I got so good and, and I was traveling. And it setting back and not traveling as much and well had grandkids and i've i've stepped back a, a lot from darts fr- from traveling a lot so now i'm i'm just like maybe once a month maybe i'm traveling Ooh. but I, I i'm trying to do more family time now Jeff, with the grandkids you do, you do a lot of local stuff uh night yeah. owls mikey's right. just darts you do yeah. a lot of those events and tournaments it, do you ever see yourself Maybe wanting to expand going out to maybe uh, Chicago or out into Kansas City and all those? Or no. are, you, are you just happy playing in your. I don't like to go that far away. You know, Honestly, I, I'm very content staying close. I, I get plenty of opportunities there where I, I mean, there's more darts real close to me than I can handle. Yeah, well, people don't realize you know. we ha- we're a unique situation where. Every single night of the week, you can go somewhere and play. Yeah, and I mean, we're, right we're, we're spoiled to that yeah. aspect of it. But I didn't know if if you were looking at to maybe taking like you have uh, flashes of brilliance where you're shooting really good darts. Yeah. Do you want to see those darts be consistent and then maybe take it to the next level? Uh, sure. I mean, I would s- probably still stay local, but uh, I like to play at state and city, and that's that's wonderful. Uh, I really don't care to spend that kind of money to go out far away or anything like that but that's teach his own i mean i'm i'm very content local and just uh until my kids are raised and you know maybe other things happen later that's you know i'm very content uh i love the league i'm playing in and uh you know love my dart partner and all the people that help me to learn and get better with that being said you got shout out you got the floor you want to give some shout outs to anybody or yeah i mean i learned a lot i mean my first dart partner marvin rayner and we still play together you know five years running and uh he's taught me a lot from the very beginning and um, um randall keys has uh stepped my game up a lot 
uh, you know, he, him and I play together often, and you know, he's harsh <laughs> with me. Uh, he's a talker, but he, but, he but you know, he makes me throw good. You know, he makes me throw hard. Yep. And uh, you know, that's what what I like. I mean, I like I like being challenged, and you know, I really appreciate that. So. Cool. Eugene, floor is yours. You got any shout outs? You want to give any? I said we, we I saw your awesome the darts you designed that you had made. If yeah, uh, I just want to give a shout out to my family, my kids, and all that. They supported me the last I don't know however many years, and uh, Jason for getting me into this and helping me out and learning this game and uh, Dart Brokers, Galaxy Apparel, uh, Maze Roofing. Decker Tavern, they all sponsor me now, so sweet. Uh, it, it's been fun. I'm I'm liking the still tip side of it. Well, thank you so much for coming and have enjoying the evening with us. Uh, your trophies are right in front of you. We can take those <laughs> for you. Congratulations! And with that being said, on behalf of Sean Green, Jason Eyes, Keegan Eyes, I am Tim Neal. Uh, we are to the point streaming. This is the siege. We stream every Tuesday night around 8 p.m. Uh, go to Facebook. Uh, to the point streaming like share subscribe thanks everyone for tuning in thanks for all the stars we greatly appreciate it congratulations guys and we will see you on the next episode next week have a great one and good night